All right, bet. We good? We, we good? What's popping with the fellas, man? I ain't really no name to this. I just wanted to get some extra content in with my guys, man. I was like, I met, uh, what you go by, Rich? Yeah, how, Tory. How, Tory? That's what you go by? I ain't know. I'm saying. Tory, Tory. We got, so I guess I should do like an introduction and shit, right? Oh, man. So from left to right, we got the guys in the building. Um, left to right. Me. For, yeah. Yeah. Um, I said left to right. <laughs> that was crazy. From right to left. Nigga, I don't, anyway. Um, they call me finesse, uh, Jonathan Dubaton. They can call me rich, call me anything, just don't call me broke. And I got the podcast, Rich and Unemployed. Yes, sir. And that's his only club on Instagram. Yes, sir. Uh, man, what's going on? It's KC the GOAT, CEO of Stay Vigilant. Um, I basically just teach financial literacy, get people other people's money. You already know. Facts. Tour reporter, aka Rich Porter, teaching real estate, bread and butter academy. It's a lot of rich motherfuckers in this motherfucker. That's one thing for sure. Mm -hmm. How you niggas feeling, man? What's good? I'm feeling good, man. Feeling amazing. Are you sure? Like, y'all niggas giving me hey, what you, like, what you, what you, what you, what you call it? What you call it? Go see yo. What you call it? Marvelous. I'm feeling marvelous. Marvelous. Today. Yeah, y'all want feel, some more drink? I'm feeling marvelous. That ain't panda, so I mean, we got some tape. Whatever. <laughs> you need, need some? Want some more? I need some coconut water, my nigga. Some coconut water, bro? Yeah. Out of everything, like coconut regular water. Organic orange juice. That's the only thing I drink. <laughs> bro, you think I'm playing too? I'm dead serious. <laughs> dead serious, man. Bro, we can call you everything but broke, right? For sure. This nigga is Don Diva. <laughs> Change your name to Don Diva. Nigga <laughs> is the, the Don. Oh, I pulled up said. though. Now you, nah, nah, fact, nah, nah. I like that. I, 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 yo, your shit been going crazy. Yeah, I know, man. Shit, it's wild, actually, bro. It's your um. Sh what the fuck? Mm, Give us the, the sauce, bro. What the fuck happened, bro? I don't know. I mean, I was on house arrest. <laughs> that was just my sauce, bro. I was in the house, bro, working, nigga. Shit. And I just, I found a little method. You know what I'm saying? I seen what people was interested in. I seen what people was going to tap into. And I just, I kept repeating, rinse and, rinse and repeat. Mm. Basically, what I did. Put some new people in there and did the same shit over and over again. Over and over. Don't stop. Yep. I mean, that's a great segue because, like, I brought y'all in here because I want to have a conversation about making money, financial literacy, uh, and just financial freedom, for real. I feel mm -hmm. like, all three of y'all getting to it in a different way. You know sure. what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, we can get into our stories and shit as the conversation flow. It ain't really no real um, structure to it, but I just wanted niggas to pop that shit. That's why I told y'all come. You know how y'all come for real. Now let's um, get it started then. What are nah, we talking facts. about? Talking about you just got into a rhythm kind of, you just did the same thing, rinse and repeat. Mm -hmm. I want everybody to talk about that if y'all could. Like it's When you got into the, the real estate, when you got into the credit, was it like I found something that worked? And I just kept doing it, or was it like, I'm trying to figure out what the fuck do work? I mean, I really was just trying to figure it out, getting to the nicks and grooves and figuring out, like, what works best for you. Mm. I think, shit, at the age we all at, because, shit, we all young, you yeah. know, you got to figure out your way, find you your way. Huh? Damn, for real. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Hold on, I thought but now, both of y'all niggas young. That's why I, that's why I asked him for Man, you talk like you 40. No, nah, I'm just saying. the same age. I'm damn near like, 30, y'all. Yeah, no, this nigga, not. this nigga like 25. 25. Yeah. Oh, he's like 20. Seven. I'm 28. Right. I'm and 33. You, you're 31. Yeah. Come on, we all. I mean, I'm just saying, though. I'm just saying. I just want to give him the flowers. He's the youngest oh, yeah, nigga yeah, doing yeah, his I mean, thing. I like that. I like that. Nah, he was giving you flowers. Yeah. I like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, yeah. I, I think shit. I think we got to. Yeah, everybody got their nooks and groove. Mm. Nah. But I mean, sure. it ain't like you ain't been popping, though, nigga. You, you been throwing parties and yeah, throwing yeah, events. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, you was throwing parties and shit? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, not like real. You was throwing food staff parties? Nah. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> nah, nah, I was using the food stamps at the parties though, but um, oh, nah. nah, I was doing like uh, uh, annual New Year's party, bro, and that shit just kept going up every year, and this year is about to be even crazier, bro. You just going crazy? Yeah, it's about to be epic. So yeah. you just said you was just trying to find out the uh, Mix and grooves. I ain't even like shit. I still ain't figured out like what, 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 what. I think we all like making money. Everybody yeah. like making money. Anything yeah. that make money, we with it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Especially in our culture. But I feel like. At the same time, too, like, what's my passion? I mean, shit, working, making money. Making but money. at the same time, you know, sometimes your passion will kind of coincide with what's best for you. Mm. So making money might be, you know what I'm saying, a passion, but that might not be, you know, what's best for you, you know? No, nah, that's 100%. I think I think my groove was, like, I always had motion. Like, it was on some like, if I, I walk in a room and everybody can feel my presence, like, they'll listen, you know mm. what I'm saying? But I just didn't have the information for them to listen, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So I just invested into myself and got the information, mastered it, and then start teaching it, you feel what I'm saying? But 
I didn't figure out my passion until two years, two years ago when I retired, mm. when I fired my boss and all that. Really, my passion is helping, like helping somebody. Y'all niggas can't listen. Let me, let me give you some game, then, man. Cause y'all gonna give me game all day, right? Let me give you some game. When you say some shit, you can't just let that shit rock. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You gotta say that shit and pause with it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you feel me? Like, cause when you said, like, I don't think niggas, the average probably wouldn't have caught that. He said, two boss. years ago when I fought, fired my boss. You say you retired. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people don't know retired. like the definition of retired. Like, retired is having your own freedom. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Doing what you want to do, not asking another person for PTO time. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? I didn't like that. You know what I'm saying? I already booked the trip and then I'm ready to go. Now I gotta wait for somebody to say you approved. You know mm. what I'm saying? That was just something different for me. Can we get into it then? Let's get into I'm it. I'm with it. Man, I'm tired of all these entrepreneur niggas keep selling this dream of quit your job, bro. <laughs> I feel like niggas is giving niggas false hope. I personally feel like that. Mm. I'll never tell a nigga quit his job. You know what I'm saying? It was funny because he had a topic all the time. Mm. Nigga, $100,000 nigga with a job or is you going to take the guy, you know, who stand up, you know, you know, in the streets, you know what I'm saying? Getting his money, how he get it. And everybody said, okay, well, the guy with the job, he the broke guy. I'll never tell nobody to quit their job, man. You know what I'm saying? You talking about, I mean, yeah, you go home 70, 80K after taxes, maybe less than that, but you getting benefits that you're going to have to pay out of pocket. You getting dental, you're going to have to pay out of pocket. So I never tell nobody. I don't know half of these posts. They, they get, still working jobs they sell. You get information. Like yeah. when you working for someone, we was just talking about this. Yeah. Like your job is your partner. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? You use that money to make a flip if you're a real hustler. Everybody not hustles. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Uh, people got to work. We need workers. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But if you're a hustler, you know, all right, bet. I'm going to take this every bi weekly check. And I'm gonna invest into my job is the plug, low key. For and that's sure. what I was saying. Like, that's what I was saying the job turned into the plug because I'm using that. What now? I don't gotta worry about how to pay rent. I ain't gonna lie. You definitely get to it differently when you gotta figure it out for real. When Let's, you don't have no job, you gotta figure it <laughs> yeah. out. You get to it differently because you don't have no choice. Let's mm-hmm. talk about stacking real quick. A lot Ooh. of people like you feel me like. When you let's say you got a job, everybody in the crib. When pandemic was happening, you had to work at home, right? Imagine you had three jobs that was paying you a hundred k, and you learning from them. Mm-hmm. Hey, Casey, you, you come on, man. <laughs> hey, Casey, when I came down here, what the fuck I said, hey, niggas is like, are you tripping? Like, man, y'all niggas is tripping. But I mean, it ain't even just the money part too. Like I was telling you, you know, when you get a job, the first thing you get SOPs, you get you know work procedures, you get training. That same right. training, and think about. It. Not even, not even you. How much money we've been looking at just training the VAs, getting the systems. Yeah. It's so much money, and we forget. Like, damn, we spending. Like for my for my program, I'm spending eight thousand dollars here, five thousand yeah. dollars, six thousand dollars on payroll here. But we already learned all that shit for free. In reality, like let's say I work at T-Mobile. T-Mobile spending billions of dollars to give me free training that I can go and put into my business mm-hmm. and then spend nothing. But us as in, you know, we listen to these influencers and entrepreneurs and like quit your job, man. Fuck your job. You ain't gotta work no job, fuck a nine to five. You can just take your last paycheck and you know start a business. It's not that easy, bro. Can I be real, KC? Why? Cause you was like, I wanna go on vacation when I want. I'm going to keep it 100. This is my first time ever having a job like this, right? The most I've ever been on vacation. Like, remember we talked on the show, the show, was like, you can't just go to Jamaica when you want shit. I've been to Jamaica twice this year. I literally never had a passport until now. Mm-hmm. To be real, I've been to Jamaica, fucking Mexico, like, twice, three times. Fucking, uh, I don't even know where the place I've just been to. Uh, I don't even know. Like, it's crazy. Like, I'm not, like, no cap. It's, I travel the most ever now because... You feel me? Like I was able to maneuver and, 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 and manipulate what I got going on to right. work for me. You feel me? Like granted, it ain't like going in. Now going in, that's tough. You gotta that's make tough. some sacrifices. For sure. But you get some remote shit. For sure. What? Yo, like when niggas say that like quit your job, it's like they're, they're missing pieces to that. You can't just quit your job. Like you gotta have a plan in between that. Mm, like right. if you ain't got nothing, in, like, if you ain't got nothing put in stone, like, okay, I'm gonna just quit my job and figure this shit out. No, you gotta have this shit figured out. All right, this is what I'm gonna do. Take the money from the job and then invest it into some other shit. Like, beginning of summer, I almost thought about getting a job, right? Mm. Like, hear me. I I'm can't talking, see you. With I'm talking about rich and unemployed, and I'm, I'm talking about like, getting a job. You. I can't <laughs> see but listen, you with a job, though. I fucked, I mean, I was going through some shit, bro. Like, I think I lost like 200K in like some crypto shit. The government fucking garnished my bank accounts, and I was like, bro, I gotta figure some shit out. Like, I need some bread. Yeah. I was like, bro, I'm gonna go get a job. And I was like, Damn, I go get a job. I'm gonna walk in and see like, yo, this nigga capping on the ground, bro. Yeah, yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't see you with a job. I ain't gonna lie to you. But nigga, I'm saying I would have did what I had to do though. Like, I'm if not it's remotely. Like, I don't know, give a fuck what it was, nigga. Shit, if I'm down on my dick, I'm gonna go get yeah. one. Uh, remotely outside. <laughs> well, I'm not, well, I'm not, I, I was thinking about it. I'm like, shit. Like, Amex right now is hiring for virtual. 
mm-hmm. just to be on the phone. I won't take that. You could go put somebody else on. Yeah. Nigga, now, what? Now I, know the game. I already know the game of how to get high limits. Yeah. Mm. Now I'm in the back office. Mm. You know what right. I'm saying? Now okay. you 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 want some money? All right, cool. I can get you 60 to 80, 80,000 on the card. I'll take 10% of that. So let me ask y'all this, though. That's getting. <laughs> do y'all think, just being real, in a part of your image, though, like, I feel like, do, do, does that play a part in. Why you don't want to get a job, or why you wouldn't Man, get a job? I think I think social media got. We are already in Black Hollywood as it is. Mm-hmm. If you, it's crazy how I think us. It's I was just telling my other homegirl this other day. It's like we forget there are everyday people out here, everyday that work jobs. They might go to his page. We and when I told you like it's a specific client that he got a c- customer. Do idolizes this man wants to be like him want to be in his flesh it's somebody right now looking at his instagram saying damn i want to be like him it's somebody looking at me and you saying damn i want to be like him and i think we keep it on them though because they the fly nigga for us so. yeah, but, but but the thing is like <laughs> it, it don't it don't this nigga go crazy <laughs> <laughs> but it, nah, it's, it's i thought i was, uh, I was nah, like, this nigga nah, stepped the fuck out though i'm gonna let you finish my but bad. at right. the end of the day it don't matter because all that all that person looks just like a role model and mm. i think what we don't show to be honest he made me feel more comfortable said i'm about to say like I've been telling him about my losses here and then. I be sitting here thinking like, mm-hmm. I, nigga, man, no way, man, I'm not finna work no job. Nigga, see me, nigga, I'm rich for that. Then you gotta put that pride to the side when shit go wrong. Right. I told y'all earlier why I said I had to sell my house. You know, yeah. it took a lot of me. I ain't even get the post when my house got broken into to a whole year later. Everybody was like, damn, Tori, Tori got this crib out of McDonough. Damn, Tori got the Maybach. Tori got this. Tori got that. And then boom, car gone. Damn, what happened to the Maybach? I'm Man, nigga, nigga tore it up on two row. Whole time I'm knowing I'd have to get my shit back. Man, mm-hmm. what happens to the house? Man, man, I, I'm renting it out, knowing I had to sell it. Hold you up, know, hold up. <laughs> I ain't even want to have this conversation. Like, but pride, you gotta put that pride to the side. Like you know, I be on yeah. that deep shit yeah. for real. Yeah. But nah, wait, hold up. So you, you had to get your car back. My I gave that shit back. I was leasing this shit. I was doing a sublease through Ally. That shit was like damn near five thousand a month. It's five. I couldn't. I was. I'm just be honest. I was my, looking at one. Yeah. Then my insurance down there a band. Yeah, you Y'all can hide that shit almost back. Eight, eight, eight bands. How do you? How do you? The price for an image. Go ahead. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, facts. Like but, but but then uh, but what I said on your shit. But to be honest, like I'm young, bro. I'm not scared till I got here and felt like I had to. I'm seeing niggas pulling up. 19, 20 years mm-hmm. old. Damn, this nigga not coloring it down. But that's what I'm saying. saying. How, but what do you? How, how, what got you there? Right. Let's take a step. Losses. Back. But no, let's take a step back though. Right. Because I'm thinking. Let's let's be real. You got a Maybach. You got the crib. Big fat crib. You feel me? Maybach going crazy. Yeah. Your mind, your testosterone, like your 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 ego is through the roof. I thought I was that. How nigga. the fuck do you? How do you get sit down? Like, how, how, where does the humility come from? Where did Watching a nigga from? knowing that at any point in time, if somebody want to take something from you, they could take something from you, no matter how tough you is, how gangster you is, how much of a shooter you is, they could take that knowing at any time that if you tell a female no, and oh, them words fall out your mouth. You got a baddest bitch on Instagram with the biggest blue check riding the biggest G wagon. As <laughs> soon as sure. them words fly out your mouth, they flying out the door. Mm. So it took for me to see that. Then them same niggas I'm hiding around me, I'm throwing money in the club, fucking off money. I'm like, damn, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro, man. Look, man, I ain't finesse. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Look, I'm a little fucked up right now. I know. Remember when I fronted you on so and so? Hey, can you go on? Th- mm. Throw me five. <laughs> I done gave my nigga a hundred. I'm asking for five. Man, I ain't gonna lie, I'm fucked up right now. But then I gonna see him throw it on a bitch in the club. You know. Mm. So it take them situations in life for you to realize like it don't matter. And I think what we what we fuck up as influencers people don't understand this between you know a a influencer and just somebody who's popular your job in the world is to influence people for the better yeah so better or worse so if i'm sitting here and i say man i just took a loss hearing that from him then at the beginning of the summer this nigga the hottest thing in atlanta right now and to hear somebody say that i ain't gonna lie bro i was That's fucked fire. up i was fucked up so it's the same it's just, they take that same humility to say damn if my nigga could sit here and say that shit, i was just fucked up when i lost my house and that was just two years ago that wasn't even a full two years ago but on social media, you gotta keep this image like, damn, man. Mm-hmm. You know, people like don't, people don't yeah. know, people don't know what you really go through behind closed doors. Exactly. Like, I got, I advise everybody to get this, man, a counselor. You feel what I'm got saying? I got one of those. Why? Therapist because sure. they never gonna judge you. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I talk to them every week because if I came to folks or my mom, they can, t- they know oh, everything go left. Damn, they bring up all the past shit. Like you feel yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they bring they up all the past. They can't. Yeah, they can't know. wait. You feel me? So you know, I shed tears talking to my counselor before because it was just like I helped so many people. I helped so many people. When is you going like ask me like, Yo, KC, are you good? That's all I want, yeah. Mm. Like, what's? But that's the responsibility of the strong fan, right? Exactly. You the strong friend. Exactly. I like I don't get those phone calls. That's, like, yo, nah, you good? That's crazy because like, damn, I wasn't expecting that. It's It was really just the. To pop out shit, but you know it's crazy because why I do my podcast is really to show 
how human you is. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people like us is niggas is the lit niggas. Niggas is like, niggas is in Baltimore, like, yo, yeah, your shit going crazy. Niggas is, mm -hmm. yo, finesse your shit. You feel me? Like, rich. But they know where you came from. Yeah. That's right. popping shit. When right. you show where you came but at back the end from, of the day is forward. niggas looking at niggas right. like, they don't see, like you said, they don't see, bro, you don't see the car. The, Nigga, I sent a hundred texts mm -hmm. for this one interview, and I got sent two hundred for the next one next week. Niggas don't see that. Right. So I, when I, when I had conversations with niggas like us, niggas that's doing their thing, you feel me? And niggas could be like, "Yo, I was fucked up. I was down on my dick, man. I lost my." You know what I'm saying? Sure. Like, that's what really, that's the real motivation. Like you said, you influencing niggas to do better or worse. I'm trying to do for the better. You feel me? For sure. Like that's that's the whole purpose behind it. But it's crazy. It's just crazy that you niggas sharing that because I wasn't even expecting that. From this, right? I'm expecting niggas to get up here like. Nah, you gotta be. You gotta. <laughs> you, feel like, you, you really gotta be like a hundred. Like you feel what I'm crazy. saying? Everybody, I feel like in this room is a hundred right now. Like mm. before I even met him, like I feed off of energy. You feel what I'm saying? I met Cuz at Cuz event. Yeah, I met him through you. Exactly, and I ain't even meet him yet. Yeah. Like, oh yeah. yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Nah, nah. In fact, so he like he like uh yeah he the glue for real. Yeah. To keep it a hundred. So the nigga KC like, yo. I don't know if you know the uh, his finesse nigga, but his shit crazy. It's he talking at, real shit on it. This nigga had twenty four thousand followers. I swear to God, he had like one fourteen right now. No, I knew, bro, when he had like fifteen k. Yeah. Oh, nah, you were just <laughs> at one thirteen. I swear yeah, to God, no, I look on the phone. No. <laughs> but anyway, so nigga, like yo, his shit. Mm. You feel me? I straight reach out. Yo, I'm trying. Like nah, shit. Say less. Pull up. So you the glue for real. Let me talk about image real quick though. Um, so like. At one point in my life, bro, I was up, I was up like one point some M's. And it was like, okay, should I, I had to make a decision. Like I was like, should I buy me a fucking half a million dollar car, $300,000 car, or should I, I bought a $60,000 whip. Mm -hmm. But it's like, I already, I already been through it. I already ran through money. It's like, I understand money now. Let me not go take half of my bread and just, just to get the look, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let me, let me take this bread and. I just need a fucking whip. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a have me an image. I'm am who I am in the inside. It was like, bro, I had to make a decision. Like, bro, I'm not finna cash out on no motherfucking whip. And this one, I'm, I'm just coming home from prison. It's like I got a probation officer. I got the feds probably still looking at me. I go cash out on this big ass whip. But niggas won't even think like that. They like, shit, but I need, I gotta keep up this image. I gotta get these hoes. Yeah. I got Instagram looking at me. You know what I'm saying like, niggas don't be thinking about that though, bro. I'm glad, I'm glad you said that because this year I was just thinking about grabbing a Rolls Royce. Like, I'm just like, I got it. You feel me? Plus, it's gonna make me money. You know what I'm saying? Nigga like me, CB coming out with Rolls Royce, I'm already shot. What is he doing? Facts. What do he That's do? That's the number one question. That's the number one question. What did you do? That can make me money. And it gotta add up. It gotta add up. So it was just like, damn, fuck that. I'ma just use another, like I do affiliates a lot. Like you feel what I'm saying? I get paid off of that. So it's just like, all right, man, let me, once I become a middleman for that, Pay to pay that Rolls Royce, then I do that. Mm -hmm. When I don't gotta worry about it, you nah, feel what nice. I'm saying? But it was just like, damn, I always want one. I can get it right now, but I had to humble myself. A lot of people just don't be humbling themselves. But it takes to be humbled, and I was gonna ask all of y'all that, because we all sharing how niggas been fucked up before, right? You said you got the 60 instead of cashing out. Mm -hmm. But I feel like you had it, and you lost it, and you knew how that felt, though. It'll come before M in the alphabet. Oh, what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> <I like it. laughs> what you say? You say you got a pause, you huh? Take a man, man. You got to yeah. say that in pause. Well, I ain't catch that one. I told you. I ain't catch that one. You, you can't you say that shit like that. You got to say it slow, too. You got to say. <laughs> and then pause and look at niggas like. I ain't got you know it. Say that shit again. It'll, become, it'll come before M and Alphabet. It also will come before uh, W too. Always. Damn. That's a real. That's a real statement for sure, bro. For sure. But I say that to say like for real, cause like I ain't gonna mm. lie to you. I came down here. Let me get my credit up. Oh yeah, 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 for sure. Couple my job. Dad. I go crazy. He go I crazy. I used to, he and I ain't gonna lie to you. Mm. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna keep it all the way hundred. We all being vulnerable. But I said, I ain't gonna lie. One thing about me, I'm a little older, so I, I called it though. I said it from a jump. I said, yo, I'm going crazy. I ain't never had it. I'm being real. That's you what he me? told me. I ain't no lie. But at the same time, I, I knew what I was doing, but I did it. Mm -hmm. Because when it happened and I was fucked up again, I was like, oh, shit. But now, I'm not gonna lie. I did learn from mm -hmm. it. I did say I was gonna have fun, and I did have fun. I'm not gonna lie. I'm keeping on it. But. It made me look back and say, "Y'all don't never do that shit ever again until I get to this point." Mm -hmm. So I feel like you had to have that L to, like they say, in order to know how to keep money, you had to lose some money. 
The L just don't mean a loss. Nah, it's a lesson sure. as well. It's a lesson for sure. It's a lesson. That's so a lesson it's like if you sure. haven't been through that, a lot of niggas went and blew through money. Blue. And it's like I bet when they get that shit again, bro, they, ain't gonna they never know. Do it. <laughs> look, look, but look, 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 for, for look at what just happened. PPP. Everybody a lot was of up. PPP, everybody was up. Everybody was eating. Everybody. A lot of people ain't survived that. <laughs> a lot of people just blew it all. Tricking, designers, weed, jewelry. Lick, jewelry. You feel what I'm saying? Everybody got a piece of jewelry right now. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Just to look good. And they and they don't even want to sell it. And they don't want to sell hold on to they 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 that image. Shit. They down right now. They, they don't want to sell that to get some cash off of that. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? They lost it, so they just waiting. Oh yeah, another one gonna come out. Another mm -hmm. one. What you gonna do with it if you not mentally here now? No, that's mm -hmm. a fact. But, I ain't but you, I you, that shit. you need them survival instincts. It's just like a tiger or a wolf, bro. You can have you born with instincts. You born with them survival instincts. But it's like, okay, boom. You take a you take a shell to wild animal and throw it in the wild. What is it gonna do? You know, it's gonna die. It's gonna get the, the wild gonna eat it. Versus you take somebody who been through some shit. You know, take what I'm a saying? wild you, animal, put him and in you put it in the wild, society? and you put them in another situation. They always gonna survive. They gonna prevail. So mm -hmm. that's why I feel like them L's are important because you can take them them L's. You might have you know beastly nature in you. You might be a wild animal, but then a when lot, you get thrown lot, in the wild, a lot of people scared to take them. Oh, yeah. bro. Like you feel me? You gotta I love embrace them motherfuckers, though. I love them. Yeah. I a lot of niggas from. don't like you said. Niggas scared, but a lot of niggas don't even know how to. Niggas, is, niggas. When I say niggas don't know how to take them L's, they they do it, and now they go crazy, uh, right? They they, they crash out. Kill it, they crash out because yeah. niggas don't know how to take that. Niggas don't know how to be humble. Niggas don't know how to take a situation and be like, you know what? I'm gonna bounce back from it. A real hustler is somebody that can make make it, lose it, and make it again. Mm -hmm. That's a difference. But like I said before, mm -hmm. everybody ain't no hustler. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? It's just that simple. Hey, I so, said it. Everybody ain't no. It's scam. a big difference between no working hard and it's a difference between being a hustler. Yeah. Like you said, everybody yeah. ain't like so he let said. Let me ask y'all this then: What's what's the definition of a hustler? By any means. Yeah. Mm. But it, I also feel like I, for example, everybody from the trenches really in here. He from the trenches, he from the trenches, you from the trenches. No, I'm really from the trenches, though. But I really feel like, I don't know, but once again, that's that swapping that mindset, too. Like, you know what I'm saying? Figuring out, am I going to get rich or die trying or by any means? Them two totally different lanes, man. Listen, mm -hmm. I got Talk to this. me. What's, I got the, what's the difference? Go ahead, Get rich or die trying is, if I don't get this shit, I'm going to crash out. Man, I ain't getting I'm nothing do done. Whatever. Mm -hmm. By any means I'm is, I'm going to uh, uh, make it through. I'm gonna persevere. I'm gonna succeed, and I'm gonna make a way. And I'm gonna find a way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try so many exactly. ways until I get this shit right. Exactly. Some but that go back to out. what he said. Everybody ain't no. Yeah. Everybody not no hustler. Yeah. Damn, like so I got this. I got it tatted on me, like on my back or whatever. I live by it. It's either you gonna be a gazelle or you gonna be a lion. What do a gazelle do? Runs. Run. Mm -hmm. What do a lion do? Hunt for prey. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's just like you either gonna be killed or beaten. Or, be the you killer. Kill or be killed. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So in life, that's just how life is. Survival of the fittest. Exactly. So what mm -hmm. is you doing? Mm -hmm. What is you doing with your twenty four? Everybody got the same twenty four. What he do with his twenty four? What I do with my twenty four? What King do with his twenty four? Everybody got the same twenty four. His hustle different. My hustle different. But if you not putting that time in, you can't expect results. And that's mm -hmm. another thing too. Comparison is a thief of all joy. So when you comparing what's fit in my what's fit in my habitat ain't fit in your mm -hmm. habitat. <laughs> Was fitting his habitat ain't fitting my habitat. No cap, right? So, bro, no. can, we, can, we, can, we, can, we, can we be real? Go I'm ahead. listening. Y'all know we, we cool, right? Yeah. But it's always some type of like, when you a competitor, you trying to compete, right? Of course. All right, so I'm going to be real, right? <laughs> so I was, uh, I get caught up in it. I'm like, man, this nigga, that shit is just crazy. Like, what the fuck I got to do, right? Real life story, I can't make this up. And I thought about it, I'm like, bro, I'm human, so like that's what we do by by by, by, by human nature. nature. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? It's fine as long as I know that I ain't on no hating shit, and I can I can express that and and, and and catch myself. A lot of niggas can't catch themselves when they feeling in mm -hmm. the feelings. That's how niggas get killed. They start feeling. Jealousy is a natural emotion. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but exactly. Sure. So anyway, like this nigga's crazy, and I'm like, I had to tell myself. I literally looked in the mirror. I'm like, y'all path is different. You get what I'm saying? Just worry about yours and worry about staying there when you get it. Mm. It don't matter what nobody else doing. It's mm. easy to compare though. It is. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna mm -hmm. lie, I'm, a, I'm a human. But what happens is niggas be so worried about the next man that they don't understand when their time come, so they lose it. Mm. I had to tell myself, I said, bro, every interview I'm doing, first of all, it's different. Understand what you're doing. Understand your purpose. It's different. And that's okay. It might take you a little longer. Be cool with it. But at the same time is Cherish the process. Fall in love with the process. I know process. it, it sounds cliche, process. right? Nah, that's but let me key. tell you this, though. I'd rather you say that one more time. A lot of <clears> people got, don't fall in love I with I say the cherish process. the process because guess what? 
everybody, even even me, right? If you never lost, like you said, if you never had that L, you never knew how to protect your W. At the, that's for real. Mm. If, I, if I interview all these small time artists or whatever the case may be, when I had that big one, I flopped. Now it's dub. Fact, so it's a, a dub. <laughs> Everything that's that's, the, that's happening right now is yeah. preparation mm -hmm. for my success. Success is when preparation meets opportunity. Mm -hmm. So if I don't have the preparation, I'ma lose the. I'ma miss the opportunity. You get what I'm saying? So I gotta. I really like. I'm saying this because I know a lot of us content creators, whatever we doing, entrepreneurs in general, we get so we missing the process. We missing the glory in the process, bro. Romans eight eighteen and say, damn, I don't. I don't, even, I don't even remember but whatever it says it's it basically was it says i said he said the power is going to feel so much better than the pain basically you know what i'm saying that laugh that glory mm -hmm. the glory is going to feel so much better than the pain the pain hurt for sure but when you smile it's going to feel it's tenfold it feels 10 times better than when you how you felt when you hurt and I think that's just like niggas be forgetting the process, bro. The process that is process, real. That that process, the process will you make gotta, you. You gotta love that process. I love every process that I go through, right? It's just like just to piggyback off of what you were saying, right? It's just like you got a brick wall and you gotta put all the bricks in orders and mm -hmm. stuff like that. A lot of people just don't fall in love with that process. They just put the brick, put the brick, brick the brick. So if that shit oh, just tumble, you don't know what happened. You feel what I'm saying? But if you really examine and yeah. figure out mm -hmm. how this brick was placed properly, if one brick slip out, you understand, like, mm -hmm. all right, I could go fix that because I know what happened. I fell in love with just putting that brick, that brick properly. You feel what I'm saying? And let's, that's just how. I, let's not skip over watching people pockets, bro, because you'll miss your blessing. You'll, mm -hmm. I say, yeah. <laughs> you'll miss your blessing by watching the other niggas' success, like. For sure. You don't. You can't realize what the fuck you. You can't realize what your success is because yeah, you looking at this nigga time. like, damn, yo, like, <laughs> not even looking. I'm looking at your shit like your shit popping too. Like, okay, my shit might be growing a little faster, but like, I'm looking at your shit like, yo, that shit lit. I like that shit. But uh, another nigga might be just looking at that like, damn, this nigga, man, I hate this shit. Uh, <laughs> hate this shit, bro. And 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 forgot about your own craft. You feel me? So like, niggas be pocket watching and bro, and try to keep up. You know what I'm saying? Try to try to try to veer off their path to try to get on next man fucking lane. Right. But I that's what I like about bro, it's crazy because we ain't even known each other from a can of paint, bro. Neither did we, but it's like certain people, bro, you can tell. Like like you that's said, real. you walk in the room and you, you feel same energy. same with Tori, bro. Like Tori, I wasn't saying shit for real. Nigga KC came when he came to get meet and greet. Well, I was at outside. outside. I ain't talking to nobody. You know what I'm saying? Not, not it wasn't intention, it was just you feel me? I want to figure out what people. I just like energy. This like, nigga Tory, he definitely came in. Nigga, just, what? Nigga. The whole house is outside. Yo, I said, where everybody at, bro? <laughs> nigga, he I stole said, a show. I'm, I'm, I go outside. Oh, this nigga boop, is in the middle boop, of a boop, circle, boop. nigga. And it's like this nigga got everybody attention. Yeah, <laughs> bro, you can't, you can't pay for that. That don't like that. Yeah. That, that, that that's something that's that's in you. That's and just. I, I say when that, you walk in a room, people feel your presence. And I feel you like feel that's what everybody in here, and that's why I got y'all because. A lot of niggas can't recognize them human feelings and get out of that. But they go back to what you just said too. Alpha males, like who? Somebody said that Al alpha males letting other alpha males be alpha male. Mm. Okay. I give him that. He don't give a fuck. Like he'll give you the platform, give you the voice. Like mm. what's the face posted in the, in the in the in the post today? Like giving her the platform and then like giving people the platform. Some people might say, man. Man, this nigga think he don't, I don't even want to get his nigga. He already got a platform, bro. But you haven't letting alpha males be alpha males. Seven, too. what I say, bro, I say yo, one That's of my fact. special traits, what I think is, Casey will tell you, I like, I can almost give somebody else the platform on my platform. What, what other people be like, they feel like they be jealous. Like me, if you niggas come on my platform, like I let them niggas shine. Like it's, it's about you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get mine. Mm -hmm. Nigga, I was Casey photographer. For sure. Video, like, bro, like. He For probably sure. ain't even know my shit was that lit. You know what I'm saying? Mean? He probably ain't even know. I ain't gonna lie to you. He probably thought I was trying to get my credit right. Like, no cap, right? Yeah. I'm pulling up to help, like, whatever. Let's he probably it. thought it I was, was just the nah, right you telling the truth. I'm on some shit like, yo, hand wash your hand. I'm in Atlanta. I need a photographer. I need content. He put me on somebody that edit. All he was doing was taking the videos. He sent me somebody that edit the videos. We sent it out to him. I paid for that. It was cheap, so but it was effective, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it got my name out there. You feel me? I ain't even care about his platform. I'm like, I just need somebody. to And record. what I tell you, I say, yo, don't, don't even, don't even tag me. Don't you even say, tell niggas because yeah. I don't want niggas to know. Yeah, mm -hmm. He probably just said. thought I was just, bro. Like, and it was the, a hand washes a hand. You know once he did that, I told him the whole what up. Yeah, the game. whole thing. Let's go to it. Then let's go straight into it. Sure, let's do it. Let's go to what's better, cash or credit? 
the pants. Now. <laughs> I like I like credit. I like credit. Listen. Credit is possible, but credit is nothing if you don't got the knowledge to back it. Also, but that go back to. I ain't gonna get started because you know I <laughs> get started. Nah, nah. What I'm, yo, you fuck you fuck the vibe up, bro. Nah, nah, he nah, 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 cause he came on. No, no, no. He listen, he like, he I saw, over, bro, he I be having this nigga on the phone. I know he be hell. He be like, yeah, yeah, bro. bro, listen, listen. <laughs> look, then listen, he be like, you know what it is. He be like, he be like, I'm gonna call. So look, look, my little shorty. Nah, but look, don't finesse. Look, what about bro? But that's how I was at the crib, though. He had the whole zone for three hours. But listen, I get it. He be listening though. But that's why I asked you to come here. So don't. Fuck with that nigga. No, 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 no. I'm just fucking with him. <laughs> it ain't nothing, nothing bad about it. Because we leave and I got a phone with a two more hours. But the nigga called me and be like, a t- it's supposed to be a 10 minute conversation. <laughs> man, I might look up, man, it's an hour and 20 minutes. Away, but I'm like, yo, this nigga is still ripping. But it's nothing but facts and knowledge. Like, bro, you need to do this. You need a funnel. Oh, bro, you, need, you need this. You need that. And it's like, he's just nothing but pouring into me. It's like, damn, this young ass nigga. He's like, I ain't even ready. But so why you think? Why you think? I think credit works in multiple type of ways. And that goes back to like, I call it the Bezos method. How Jeff Bezos built those shares in that company, borrowed against those shares bought whole foods borrowed against whole foods and moved to the next thing or like uh i don't know if anybody you know fuck with e-commerce but like borrowing against your store too like a lot of people don't know like after 90 days on shopify wix square stripe you can borrow against your store with no credit whatsoever so credit yes credit yes but you still got to understand how money work and i think we mix money and currency like right now you give me your time that's a form of currency he gave me his platform that's a currency he tagged me on some that's currency you know what i'm saying and we don't understand the difference between money and currency break it down you know, you know what i'm saying money i mean anybody can make money you work hard i gotta say anybody can make a six figures working hard i go to mcdonald's right now and make a hundred two hundred thousand i go to google make three four hundred thousand if it's a problem then i got a solution i can make a million mm. but it ain't until you start understanding like <laughs> the value of currency and you make impact and like some folks don't, <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't do that shit. Bro, nah. See, fuck, I'm about to I'm about to put this nigga out, bro. No, no, no. You fucking the vibe, bro. bro. Are, don't when, fuck, when you start talking you know, fast. No, bro, when, do your thing, bro. Talking, nah, bro. Go on. Never ask this nigga to come, bro. It's facts, though. Go but, ahead. But, but the thing is. Just he long just talk, my whole, he fucked no, up. Go ahead, bro. Cur- currency, you gotta understand how currency works. So, like I said, anybody can make six figures working hard. Problem, solution, you a millionaire. You found a problem. He found a problem where well, we already touched his problem in the podcast community. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But problem, solution, boom, you done made a million, two million, three million. But when you start sending them hundred millions, two fifties, five hundred millions, you wanna be the Alex Hermosi of your generation. You know what I'm saying? It ain't until you make a real impact. I don't and know who that is. Well, man, that nigga's rich. He's rich. Rich. What do you do? G- Gary V of your generation. You, yeah. I, 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 he just teach. He just teach coaching and sales. So Crazy. you. So you say it depends. KC, you push credit. I, I'm pushing credit just because OPM, other people's money. You know what I'm saying? Like once you know the knowledge, I don't really have to use cash for. For I could show it that I have it, but I don't have to use cash. I can use other people's money. The bank do it. Why mm. can't I? You feel what how I'm do saying? You, wh- what? How is that with credit though? Others people money. Yeah. Yeah. How, how is that credit? Because, like, let's say you got a credit card with 0% interest rate and stuff like that, right? And I'm talking personal. It get bigger on the business side, right? Mm-hmm. You got you got a credit card that got, let's say, 10 bands, and you needed that 10 bands to go do a vending machine. That's just something small, right? You can liquidate that money off of that card, and that's other people's money. Let's say it's uh, 0% for 12, 15 months. That's a year and three months. Mm-hmm. If you're a real hustler, you can make that right back off of that vending machine. You liquidate the money off of that card, put that into that vending machine, now you got profit, you getting profit every month. You pay that card back. You ain't got to worry about paying it all off in full. It could be minimum payments. Or we can get deep to it. We can go get a business credit card, right? With 0% balance, balance transfer. transfer. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Now we can go take that money over there and transfer it over to the personal. Now you hide your utilization. Now you can rinse and repeat that whole process. Why, why you ain't tell me about the business shit? Because I just found that out. Because I, I ain't gonna lie, I went for broke. I, I'm like, I got a credit. Everything I got everything, and then somebody like yo, you get the business credit, and it don't it don't affect uh, your utiliz- yeah. utilization, uh. and that don't fuck affect your credit score for real. You just pay your your, your balance. You build your personal, then PG it on the business. Nah, you know why? You know why business. I ain't telling because he got comfortable. He ain't called me no more and asked for information. You know what I'm saying? I'm barely here. <laughs> got him right. He <laughs> got right, and I don't hear from you no I more. Got that you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't hear from him. He used to call me. Yo, what about uh, that? what about this? What about this? I used to just give it to him. Uh, uh. So but wait, he was that's, that's game and game though. Yeah. How so? Nigga, call you get the credit fix. How important is it to stay in touch with you though? Like why? Like why is that so important? Uh, it's really hard to get in touch with me. Nah, like, like once know. they get in touch with you, you fix that credit. But to stay in touch with you, to to keep that shit good. I it mean, ain't I'm just giving. An overnight nah, process. nah, nah. It's not an overnight process. So what I do is basically like with all my clients, I'm hands on. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I hate people that just give out money 
and you don't hear it from them. Like, I hate giving out my money and I don't hear it from the people. You know what I'm saying? So me, I'm hands-on. So every month, I talk to my clients. They just got to book a consultation. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And it's free. But in, during that consultation, I'm actually educating you because I don't want you to become a client no more. I believe in hand wash, hand wash the hand and also word to mouth. That's very key to me. I really don't have to promote at this point no more, right? Word to mouth is key. If I can get you right, then I know that you're going to bring me five to ten people. How many from people your you got off me? A lot. <laughs> a lot. Crazy. You feel what I'm saying? A lot. And it's just also, and my, the results is rampantly. Uh, let me ask you, how long did it take you to get where you need to be? I don't even want to say it because niggas going to be expecting my <laughs> results. My shit was like, what? It wasn't even 60 days. That shit went crazy. It might have been like 60 maybe. It that was shit about, It crazy. was about like three months. You know what I'm saying? Shit it was about like three crazy. months. But it was on a, he followed my blueprint. I got a blueprint that I give to everybody. He just followed it. It's about executing. Somebody can teach you how to fish, but if you don't execute it, it's not going to show. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So that's just how, how I do it. Vanessa, credit or cash, bro? Let me give my take on it, bro. Because um, I'm from the streets, bro. And growing up, it was all about cash. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga ain't know nothing about credit. And it's like, we got to feel that shit. You know what I'm saying? We got to count that shit. You know what I'm saying? We got to have that shit sitting next to us. It look different when it's just on fucking paper and it's like, damn, I got a 760 credit. It's different. But like as I'm as I'm starting to educate myself, bro, I'm starting to understand like it's so much I can do with just cash. If I got a million dollars cash, what can I really do with this versus a bunch of credit? Mm -hmm. Let's just think about real estate. Okay, if I want to go buy a bunch of houses, I could put down a bunch of down payments with credit or versus let me go cash out, use my all my bankroll to go buy a crib when I could just use a bunch of credit and get multiple cribs. You know what I'm saying? Use the same million dollars to say what? 20, 30,000 deposit. Um, uh, what a down deposit? Twenty thousand dollars down deposit. I can use that fucking 10, 20, 30 times, mm. and now I got a whole fleet of fucking cribs versus mm -hmm. me just cashing out. You know what I'm saying? On one crib, so it's credit. I'm I'm glad you said that because a lot of people they they don't understand like the it's, it's I like to talk about the basics, right? So let's use a car, right? Let's just make it simple for the people, right? So let's say you go grab a car some people they just cash out on cars because they just got the money they're mm -hmm. not educated so they cash out on cars be like yo sixty thousand i'm gonna cash it out they don't report on that credit report you know what i'm saying so now all credit is for real for real, is being in debt and maintaining your debt the more debt you have the banks see that you honorable they're gonna give you some more money mm -hmm. right i mean to touch on that too you got to understand active past and residual income how for can sure. you how can you know you know what i'm saying how passive income work and you know making money passive through credit and you don't even know how your active income works so it's like you know what i'm saying if i'm working like you said, the nine to five mm -hmm. i gotta understand how my nine to five check if i can't manage that then i can't manage no credit card for sure. and then once i manage that then boom i'm ready for my credit card then i'm ready for the financial literacy so now you're right credit but, always gonna be for the win in the long run but, i ain't gonna lie to you though i i, I i'm, I'm kind of on your side it's still credit though because let's say i got a million i was i learned that you can make the million work for you from the bank. You don't gotta spend your million. Of course. If I got a million, the bank won't give me ten. Probably. But if I give, if I get you a seven sixty and get you fifty k in credit cards, you ain't never. You don't even know what money's like. But no, that's what I'm saying. But if I got a million, I probably can get ten million from the bank, though. Of course. No. But you gotta understand how to use it. Right. A right. lot of people don't Once understand again. the basics. Mm. You know, they don't know what makes up this report. They don't know. They some people might have a seven twenty or a seven fifty, but only maintaining twenty five hundred. Mm. But you asking for a sixty thousand dollar loan? I'm not giving that to you. You wouldn't even give me sixty thousand if you see me maintaining twenty five. Mm. You don't trust me. You feel what I'm saying? So then it comes to our right, bet. That's why I said all credit is is being in debt and maintaining your debt. You want this hundred thousand dollar car? Car? I gotta see that you already maintain a hundred thousand dollar car first. You feel what I'm saying? Damn. So let me. Yeah. No, they work hand to hand, in my end. They work hand to hand. So let me ask you this. I feel like all y'all can answer this. I'm a 25 year old, down on my dick, broke. Trying to make $10,000. How can I make $10,000? Mentor. Get your laptop. <laughs> <laughs> With no money, money whatsoever? Man, he, he has no money whatsoever? Job, bro. Go get you some yeah. act, active passive residual. Mm -hmm. You gotta act before you can pass, and but you got before you can reside. You gotta learn how to pass by game of monopoly. You gotta learn how to pass go. If you can't learn how to pass go, how you gonna know how to win the game? No, nah, that's a fact. I say a mentor because um, I'm big on giving your gift away. Mm -hmm. I did about like ten states for free, um, just teaching people. Uh, shout out to big business. I did like ten states for free. 
teaching people. You know what I'm saying? So it was on some, I gave my gift away. But by me doing that, people know who I am now. And I made them comfortable to tap in with me. So you said if a 25 year old don't have no bread right now, become a mentor. No, 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 get a no, mentor. Get a mentor by giving you, find out what your gift is uh -huh. and see what, it, what if your gift is photography. Mm -hmm. A lot of people need content. I just told you, you had camera, you not good at edit, but I'm gonna fix your credit. And right. you gonna take these videos. Right. You feel what I'm saying? You could go back to currency though, understanding the value, what you got to bring to somebody else and then give back. Yeah. Okay, so get a mentor. Credit. So if, if a 25 year old kind of you right now, right? Like, yo, I want you to be my mentor. You, all right, I, I'm, I'm a, you gonna mentor him for free, right? What's the first three things you gonna teach him? The first thing, the first three things I would teach this guy is credit. Mm -hmm. um, you gonna fix his credit for the free because he, he a mentee or? He would have to bring value to my table. How can he bring value to your table? I'm looking for a 25 year old right now. He broke right now. He want a call case. He want to give you value so you can help him out. Well, I'm gonna see how hungry he is. Mm. He gotta put in some work. He gotta put in some work. He gotta show me, he gotta nag me at least. Like, you know what I'm saying? And not no nagging, like, yo, I'm ready, I'm ready. I gotta see you pit work. You gotta care about yourself before you can You meet me at the office you before I get to the office. Mm -hmm. Type time. You popping up in my podcast. Okay. So I said, I need a mic cover. Yeah. You got it for you me already. already. Got, you All right, already so back. Got it. He showed you that now. Mm. Yeah. What you give him? I'm teaching him the whole, everything I know. I don't sugar, I teach everybody, if you became a mentor, a mentee of mine, I taught you everything I know, how to do it yourself or how to automate it with funnels, how to run it, how to market, everything. Mm. And it, it's, it's facts. I, success got receipts, is facts. Mm. I don't sugarcoat nothing, why? Because all I wanted to do is see if you can, um, if you ready to invest into yourself. A lot of people scared to invest into themselves. Not just money, time. Time. Effort. Hustle. Effort, nigga. Effort. No cap, like for real. Like, like how do you wake up in the morning? I wake up in the morning and I tell myself good morning before anybody. I don't even look at my phone before a female can tell me good morning. Before anybody, I don't even look at my work. What's up? What's up, King? Who owe you money tonight? Who owe you money today? You know what I'm saying? Good morning. I get my mind right. I want to see how you start your day. Mm. I work out every day and that's just me because, you know, that's, a, that's just my peace of mind. I work out. I want to see how you... Train yourself. I like how Kings was saying, yo, I only drink nothing but coconut water. That's him mentally training himself. That's mm. what he like. You feel what I'm saying? So for me, what I like is working out. That's my peace of mind. You, you want to know what, what a young nigga like. What I want to see what he like. I want to mm. see if he disciplined and committed. In any and ready. facet of his life. You feel what I'm saying? So you can't tell me you ready, but still out here ripping and ripping around you know what i'm saying saying you don't got no money you can't you be spending money every day that only makes sense you on a phone with females every night and you ain't got ten thousand in your account mm. you can't be ready mm. oh man <laughs> what you so so when you say get a laptop you did ass or what no 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 <laughs> <laughs> No, I was, I was fucking around. Purposes only. <laughs> no, oh no, my God. just fucking. I don't want to get ten bad. Not for real. like if it, it, it could be five. If I'm if I'm down on my dick, it could be anything. Help for real. Not a laptop though. I wouldn't. I wouldn't encourage anybody to do anything illegal. I would say, man, do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying I did what I had to do, but not saying the next man got to do that. Like that's just not the way out. It's so many other ways. Like I just wasn't informed. You know what I'm saying I wasn't educated enough. Like I didn't know no other way. Like shit, I'm just gonna figure this shit out. However, my nigga doing it, I'm gonna do it. So it's like, you ain't gotta do that. You don't have to work to that. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody got, hey, that ain't for everybody. But now for that sure. you know better, I like, and you interview a lot of niggas that's getting money, a lot of, like you, you Man. what would you say? Dog, what I learned so, I learned <laughs> so much from even this nigga right here, bro. Like, I don't, from the ground up, I couldn't even tell you, but like, if you got a little money, bro, and you know something, you know what I'm saying? Like funnels or like, he teaches me about building a community. I'm, I'm making money off of just being a fucking Instagram, bro, and having a podcast. like. It's it's so easy when you just build a brand. If you if you have a face and you know some shit, you just build from the ground up, bro. I want I want I want to just feed off of that. There's so much ways. He just said social media. You got TikTok, Twitter. You know what I'm saying? You could just go out and just. But that's not instantly though. I'm saying like if I, if I everything come is up, not instantly. Ninety days, right? Everything is not instantly. Life ain't guaranteed. You mm -hmm. know you got to put the work in. Ninety days. Ninety day plan is possible. 90 day, but once again, active passive residual. I so think you say the jobs. We keep I fuck forget, with that. You I job. mean, you got, whether there's washing cars, whether yeah. there's cutting grass, whether there's, bro, you gotta get some active income. A job ain't, people think active, active income is me giving my time. Right now, we still, from. we think right now, 
All right, boom. He's he's he says he's retired. Boom. He's retired because there's no more activity in his income. His income comes passively. Technically, shit. He's still in the mud. I'm still in the mud. He up meals. I'm up meals. You up meals. He up meals. Boy, but we're all, meals. No, I'm just I'm saying. I'm saying. <laughs> but, <laughs> Well, my, my rich friend here. <laughs> but what I'm saying is we're continuing to put in effort, labor, and continuance into what we're doing to get deliverance. So mm -hmm. when there's continuance into deliverance, there is no 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 residual. There's no residual. It's still active. Passive is when it's partial labor. You learn how to outsource. You learn how to automate. You learn how to do all these things that's supposed to work for you. And then when you can fully step back and say, you know what? I ain't got to do shit else. My affiliate is going to work for me. My other my VA is going to work for me. My other, my team going to do stuff for me. Then boom, you just sit there and you collect the check. And I think mm -hmm. that's where some folks fuck up because 90 days is super possible. Going to get that active income, understanding how to manage that money you're working for. If you can't, like you just said, you're saying you ain't making no money, you're going out every day. You don't even understand. You know what? One thing I never understood, even with women and men, every they read it Monday, they tired. Mm -hmm. Wednesday, I'm halfway due. Friday, it's the weekend. Saturday, Sunday, I'm literally saving up my check just to spend it on Saturday just and Sunday. Spend. Just to be back broke on Monday, waiting to the fourth, the first of the fifteenth, or whatever that pay period is again. For sure. If I, if I had to give advice, I would say, like you said, right? I would say, get a certification, get a couple of them motherfuckers. Trade well, certification. They, they, might, they might cost money, so I, I can't say that because they cost. But you said that, no. That's ninety days. That's so right. yeah. So what I would say. So what I would say, right? <laughs> if you can save up some bread, because what happens is, like, when I got my certification, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it all the way hundred. He was like, all right, bet to get your uh, certification costs twenty five hundred. I'm like twenty five hundred for a certification. It ain't really no guarantee. That's a lot of money. I took a gamble. Best thing I ever did. If I had to tell niggas, get two to three certifications. You could find a mentor to get you one for free. They could take the test for you. Add value to your mentor, right? If I can add value to somebody else, he can help me out because it's easy to him. He already know how to do it. He gonna get me a certification. So add value. What can? How can I make you some more money? If I gotta DM a hundred niggas a day to get to get you. To get you clients, that's what I gotta do so you can so I can get my certification for free. If I, just me personally, right? I would get a certification, I would get multiple, right? I would apply for jobs on Indeed every single day. How? Let me let me give you some game. You go to Indeed, not LinkedIn. You go to Indeed filters. On filters, you do remote jobs, right? You do um remote was another filter. You do easy apply. Why you do easy apply so you don't have to waste time applying applying for uh so many jobs, you get 10 in a day. You do easy apply, you do a hundred. Plus in a day, easy. You get multiple jobs, right? Yeah, I think giving somebody on his podcast said this. Mm -hmm. You get multiple jobs, and <laughs> once you get multiple jobs, you get somebody else to work for you because you remote. Yo, you do this, bro. I give you. I'm a fair nigga. You don't, you don't gotta be as fair as me, but you could be like, yo, you make a hundred thousand shit, bro. You could take seventy. I take thirty. I ain't doing shit. That's fair. I'm, I'm just a fair nigga. You don't gotta be that fair because nigga, a nigga could do it for for way much less. Niggas ain't making seventy five thousand dollars every day. You feel me? I would just. Do easy, do the filters, easy apply, remote, and um whatever job you want. Apply for a hundred a day. Swear to God. You get two to three jobs, you work from the job, the job that you're getting passive income on that somebody else working for you, don't spin it. I mean not don't spend it. You spend it, but don't spend it on you. Spend it on things that can make you money. Stack up uh vending machines, stack up ATM machines, stack up, get an Airbnb, take a risk. But what I would do is I would save three months of my rent, because if I I'm if I'm caught. I can go ahead and break my wrist, eat, break my lease easy, and it's not fucking up my credit. Cool, you know sure. what I'm saying? Keep three months rent, and I would just do it like that. I mean, that's just, this is what I would do. I think that can make a lot of money. That's smart. Yeah, so you, definitely. You, 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 you so said seventy. Things. You said seventy. I would get a virtual assistant, Philippines. Right. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, I, right. I'm, fair. I'm, my I, I, I'm too fair sometimes. Yeah. But like, you feel me? I'm I let a nigga know, like, yo, you take this job. You take 70, just give me 30. Cool. Wow. Wow. You just put me on some. I might hit the losing chart tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, for real. But, I mean. Listen, you name so many things, right? It's a million ways to make some bread. For sure. And it's like, niggas, they'll cry broke all day, but bro, you're not trying hard enough. Mm. You're not fucking sitting there and thinking, nigga, you out here bullshit. Nigga, there's so many ways to make money, so many ways to figure this shit out. Nigga, you're not trying hard enough, bro. So I don't want a nigga saying, bro, I can't, I, I don't know what to do. No, <laughs> nigga, you're not trying hard. You're not waking up, nigga, thinking. Sometimes, sometimes I got, I got um, some folks, you feel me, they think too much. Mm. You know, what I'm overthinking, saying? overthinking, mm -hmm. overthinking. Well, boy, that kill your that dream. That would kill your. That would kill your whole motion because it's like you overthinking. Figure out what's best for you. What's that one thing that's best for you? Learn it, master it, teach it. That's learn it, then master, master it, and teach, teach it. it. Mm. I had to learn that too, bro. This is like this. This is a whole another space I'm in, bro. Like, 
this nigga Tori calling me, telling me all, all, all this little shit that I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, bro, you need a funnel. I'm like, bro, what the fuck is a funnel? What is that? <laughs> it's automation, everything. It's just it's automation of systems and processes to get your customer closed, so you know your KPIs and your metrics. So you What's know that? It sounds What's so KPI? foreign, right? Yeah, your your, your KPIs, your metrics, your like, game, like, nigga, like your like, like your consumer data. I mean, shit, a quick run through it. I mean, everybody needs a funnel or a splash page in a sense. Your funnel's gonna give you a CTA, that's a call to action, and then use it at the top of that funnel. You have a VSL, that's a video sales letter. What I'm telling you right now, I swear to God, nigga, charge you ten bands for it, and Facts. it's so simple. Facts. And then at the top of that, at the top of that, you got your VSL. Your VSL is an explanation letter within that funnel or that splash page you got copy that copy is just telling them more about you your program and how it works and then from there you got to have your email campaign set up so you got an email flow in the event that somebody says no yes i'm on the fence mm-hmm. or and, and then you can even go further have you a form t- t- drop form type form with some conditional logic so if you're selling multiple packages so you always want to prime product upsell downsell so damn if i can't afford it i can downsell him if he has more money i can upsell him if he has no money at all i can turn him into some type of subscriber to my content so he always comes back you, for example uh call jg wentworth you uh, know 187 cash, cash now, now. <laughs> you see how you just simply said that yeah. that's how you want your funnel to think and people don't think on the psychological effects of when you're constantly biasing someone one nigga i see him everywhere and it's we all know that him for him 500 you accidentally tap on this nigga's website. You accidentally tap on his link. You tap on Alex. Sh- you're seeing their shit everywhere. It's nonstop. Grant you can Cardone, definitely say Grant Cardone. Oh, oh, they's God. even worse. Right yeah, now, Grant Cardone, I, I probably crazy. got a message from him right now today. Niggas on my Facebook, my Instagram, my Twitter, and on my TikTok. <laughs> like, damn, I am not interested. I am not interested. And they're still there. They're still there. They're still there. And then eventually, you see here like fuck, man. Well, I'm telling him, man, bro, we need to, man, when that's fast, that shit's at home, man, we need some speakers. I don't know shit about no event. Mm-hmm. Goddamn Neo DeViso in <laughs> event space event shit been <laughs> popping up on my shit for two years straight. Yeah. And you think immediately right there, and that's the, that's how you want your Wait, slow it down, slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. How does that work for him? Like, what, what, what? I want to start. Everybody wants to have a voice. Okay. Everybody wants a voice, and I, I'm going. Man, man, I tell this nigga this every day. Uh-huh. Everybody wants a voice. Everybody starting podcasts. I remember when he, when we first started talking about it, bro. Money man was the first nigga to come out of nowhere saying, "Bro, podcasting is where the money at." Y'all artists think y'all want to get here. All y'all artists that ain't making no money on SoundCloud get into podcasting. When I saw, I forget the lady name, man, but she, I think she got like an 18 million dollar contract from Spotify. And then she got the contract, and then this See, other Joe girl. Joe Rogan got like a hundred mil. Bro, and that's what I'm saying. This is where the money is. But there are so many people, you know what I'm saying, that want to get their voices out there that they don't know how to monetize their podcast. Yeah. Don't know how to upsell from their podcast, downsell from their <clears> podcast. <throat> and then the thing about that is also podcasts allow other people with other demographics and other backgrounds and other products, other services. Cross references, affiliate program, how to make cash from that. It's so many ways this man can make money and is making money from just having somebody talking to your mic. Mm-hmm. So that benefits him on his funnel. Not only is he saying, oh, look at me, but everybody likes success stories, case studies, but that sure. go back to what we said in the beginning, prior to the side. If I met him right now with these with 117,000 followers, I, that's going to be his starting point for me. Mm. So to me, I don't know what he did. He can get on camera all day. So, man, I got out the mud. I didn't do this. Man, that nigga, that nigga been popping. He been throwing parties. Not going, we look at this. Man, this nigga been throwing parties. That yeah. ain't, he ain't working hard. This is, it was given to him versus me. When I first followed him, I showed you. I sent his pocket. I think this nigga didn't even have 5,000 followers. I said, bro, gonna be the next blow. Then I sent your shit to Christiana. Mm-hmm. Nigga had 13,000 followers. Then he had 50. Then he had 80. Then he had 90. He I tell me what I he don't know. I cuz. I'm just like, yo, yeah. I like what he talking about. Like, he's saying some real shit. And then I introduced, like, the story. I said, yo, you got a podcast? Put him on there. Because y'all need to, y'all need to make, oh, connect. That was your idea. That was my yeah, yeah. idea. Uh-huh. You feel what I'm saying? I'm just like, yo, y'all need to, and I ain't even meet you yet. <laughs> you feel me? So it was just like, all right, bet. But the thing with the funnel thing is he didn't even get the teaching yet. Right. He learned it. That's what he's trying to get me to do. He teaching. mastered it. Then you teach it. You okay, teach so it. And that's, that's the where funnel. the cash flow comes So from. whatever it is, you learn it. And then on the back end, you segment those groups in order of importance. And when I say order of importance, it don't mean one person is more important than the other. One has a different focus area. For sure. You know, just like school, somebody might be proficient in math, but they suck at science. They might be good at history, but they suck at PE. So you understand them avatars, and that's what they are in essential avatars. This is my science student. This is my strong math student. This is my strong strong PE student. But for him, this is my strong marketing student. This is my strong affiliate. This is my strong, this, I got on his podcast. Now he's a strong, because in a sense, y'all in a sense mentoring each other. 
know what I'm saying? Sure. Y'all mentoring like he you he you knew nothing about credit. He knew nothing about videography. Y'all mentoring each other, value Thanks. add, value swap, and then you continue to grow from there. Now you're proficient in his area, and he's proficient in your area. Mm -hmm. But another thing, like Rick Ross said in his book, you know what I'm saying? Who's you know who's really successful if you're not teaching up? He was talking about gunplay in his book. He was talking about you know he don't believe in holding people back. If you still got your homeboys that's with you, and ten years later they still part of your entourage and they can't branch out to their own thing, you really failed them. You yeah. put them in a box. It's crazy because mm -hmm. I didn't even know none of that about the book, right? I just was talking to my man. I said, yo, I lose so many people because I'm okay with it. If you if you come intern for me or or, or, or work under me, the purpose of it is for you to branch out. Mm -hmm. Do I want it to you to do that? No, but I know I'm gonna give you so much value that you're gonna be you you you're gonna grow outside of what you got what you're doing for me because that's just how it works exactly because that's what i'm giving you my mentor like, my mentor told me right my mentor told me and this is my boss at the time and my uncle and things in that nature i said yo what do you want from me from all this game that you're giving me he said i just want you to help somebody else mm. you feel what i'm saying impact impact i want you to be an impact i'm like yo i can get you a watch you know what i'm saying i can do whatever take you on trips because you gave me so much and i learned so much he just said yo i just want you to be an impact to somebody else do the same thing that I'm doing for you. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm doing. You feel what I'm saying? So for me, instead of going, I need an assistant, right? Instead of going to the VAs and stuff like that, I pissed somebody on that wasn't really, he was a client. You know what I'm saying? I said, yo, you going through a situation, I'm gonna teach you how to do everything, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna pitch you all cause, and, and I'm teaching him how to be a leader so he can branch off. I don't, I don't need you with me all. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna teach you the game so you can be a, your own leader and do your own motion. You feel what I'm saying? But at the time that I'm teaching you, I need you to put 110. And to touch on that, and a turnover, what's a turnover rate to you? What do you consider turnover? How fast you can, I don't know, you can get something back, I guess. Businesses spend billions of dollars to end lower turnover rates because your turnover rate shows how successful you are in creating successful people. Right. You gotta think of your life the same way. So of course you're gonna start, like you said, man, I get these all these fuck people in my life. I get all these niggas that ain't doing nothing for me. I get all these guys that's fucking me over. But you're gonna learn those things. You, you know, you break bones and make them strong again. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? If I've never met a liar and you give me lying tendencies, I move to the next thing. Damn, he remind me nigga that's lying. Mm. Then I meet a thief, I move to the next thing. Damn, I ain't, that nigga's a lying, stealing ass nigga. Then I move to the next nigga. Who Who's psychotic? That's a line still a psychotic. And you learn every time you go with someone, so that turnover rate lowers and lowers and lowers. But then you get to the next step of creating successes. So when a lot of people get around you, for example, Steve Harvey, everybody that get around Shaq, I ain't everything I read about do everybody that's it's crazy how Kevin Hart and 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 said he was in a room with Jeff Bezos for a couple of minutes and it, it, net worth exponential. Yeah. Uh, 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 Rick Ross, Grant Cardone, couple of hours, Rick net worth exponential. Steve Harvey, every time I've seen somebody go around that guy and mm -hmm. get in a room with him for an hour, yeah. I don't know what the fuck he said to them in the 60 minutes. Them 60 minutes? You next, you read an article, so and so has sold an $8 million company, $20 yeah. million. What the fuck you tell him in 60 minutes? Right. But those turnover rates are low. So when, when you got that valuable time, when I'm in a room with him, I'm like, fuck, let me shut up and observe. You know what I'm saying? Or when you in a room, when I'm in a room with certain people, let me shut up and observe. But those turnover rates are so low, so they create successes. Like I said, my, the person who educated me, my mentor, 20 years in commercial real estate, I cut that into three. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So turnover matters. But I think people, when you realize you're getting people and you like, oh, I'm okay with people falling out of my life. No, you got to pay attention to those haptics it's just like your iphone your iphone remember you it remember your haptics how you go through your phone what you like to look at first thing in the morning he might look at instagram and in the well he said he don't look at nothing so the first thing it might send him is a bible verse this nigga's all about health it might send him his my fitness pal me i ain't gonna cap i ain't for the flies the first thing i like go straight to my dms who i done flirted with the night before <laughs> and who the fuck i ain't scared to say that you know it's a bad habit of mine but the first thing i see Nothing but Instagram notifications. You know what's crazy? All my Shopify checkouts are at the bottom, and that's the most important thing. Mm -hmm. So your life is the same way with your phone, your haptics. You got to pay attention. I'm glad, I'm glad you said that because it's like Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. They be knowing y'all lives for real, for real. Like we could be talking about something, and the next thing you know, it Seeing pops shit up. Everywhere. You, it day, pops man. up. <laughs> so yo, let me ask y'all this then: Do y'all do y'all believe that you gotta sacrifice something to get? something else always bro always always if i could that go back to what which, what we all been saying movement like enjoying the process and that's what i was going to touch on when you said it like for me just to be honest right now i did not enjoy the process like and it's funny because me and him have our own conversation before the take of the camera you know what i'm saying he you know what i'm saying i don't miss hit little boo but <laughs> like when i be on the phone talk we be talking about our experiences with women with life and i be telling him like nigga, you don't even realize like 
I'm around rappers into time. I'm, I was just in the studio the day before yesterday. We was in the studio at four o'clock in the morning. It's experiences he having, and based on what you told me, it's experiences this nigga was having back in college mm -hmm. that niggas is not even having now with millions and millions of dollars. And for me, like I said, I came from a city, a small ass city, not having nothing. I'm like, damn, bro, I ain't know no BBL. I ain't never seen a BBL. I don't even know what a BBL feel like. So I come to a city where I'm like, damn, I get to fuck all these bitches. Damn, I get to be around all these niggas with this money. And I work so hard and so fast just to prove everybody back home who's still working them same jobs. Who fat, who got 10 kids, who locked up and ain't doing nothing with life. And I get here at 25 now, and I'm literally telling myself right now in this moment, when I get back in the car, I call my best friend. I don't know what the fuck I worked so hard for, because I worked so hard to impress the next motherfucker that I didn't already excel. So I'm enjoying that process too. I think that's very important. So yeah, sacrifice do matter because it's like you can only fuck so many hoes. You can only get so many material items. You know what I'm saying? You can only have so many good friends in life. And then when you're going through that journey, you're gonna burn half of those good friends because you make mistakes. But when you get to that point of realization, like, damn, what the fuck am I? And that goes back to what he said, planning and preparation, me opportunity. I'll be lying right now if I just said, man, yeah, I got a game, but I don't got no fucking game plan. I'm just good at what I do. That's when you asked me earlier, I'm so tired of like, not me and I'm tired with myself. When a motherfucker asked me, so what's the game plan? I don't fucking know. Like, I've lost, came back, lost, came back, lost, came back. I just told my friend on the phone today, like, it's been five years. I ain't never worked a job in my life. I ain't never suffered in my life. I don't even, I can't even think about five years from now because I don't even know what the fuck I want to do now. It just happened so fast. And when I look back at it, I ain't enjoyed none of my trips I've taken. I've enjoyed no family time. I ain't even realized the fact that I get to sit in the house. You get up at whatever time you want. You get up at whatever time you want. I ain't even took, I, we take that little shit for granted. Like, I'm, nigga, it's 11 right now. I'm probably gonna go to bed till 3 o'clock in the morning, especially if we going out. 100%. I'm a, I don't get up go to at bed 2 every two day, in the afternoon. 3, 3 a.m. and wake up early. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gotta go get it, because you got the mindset like, damn, I can't let a, another motherfucker take me out my spot. He might be up 4 in the morning and Ain't getting up at 7. You feel what I'm saying? So, in my head, I'm just like, all right, bet. I gotta still get it. I'm on live. Because your best sales is at night. That's when the world ends. You feel what I'm saying? So everybody if you're selling at everybody at home, scrolling through their Instagram, scrolling through um, social media, you feel what I'm saying? Saying what they about to shop. Now you giving a game, oh, all right, let me motivate this person. I'm on live motivating. You feel what I'm saying? And giving them value. So they like, damn, you giving it out for, for free. What, what, does, what do we got? When he could be sleep in the bed. When he could be sleep in the bed. Mm. They not on a social media as much because you got to remember. No, everybody you got could nine. be sleep in the bed, though. You up educating and getting right back up in the morning. And everybody got nine to fives. So they not really on their phone scrolling throughout the day. The day rolling. You know what I'm saying? They probably scrolling around 12, 1 o'clock. That's when lunch is. That's not enough time. So y'all think like, them your KPI the your metrics, by the way. <laughs> them your KPI. Time is at the top. Mm. I know for me, bro, like, I don't think people understand like okay yeah niggas might see my shit blowing up but bro i put a lot of time and effort in that shit bro like i put in hours of fucking editing and content bro i'll be sitting there for hours bro <laughs> that shit is trying to find the right piece like that 60 second clip you know what i'm saying this is what i'm doing every fucking day bro i'm i'm really putting the time and effort in that motherfucker okay but time bro like <laughs> cuz motivated me i seen him one night on the joint he said i'm still up while everybody party he said some something it was a story came up on my story I said oh I I ain't the only one up yeah, I gotta bro. continue you feel what I'm saying it wasn't no no like damn he up like fuck like no nah, all right bet I'm right with you mm. and he don't even know it like you feel what I'm saying he don't even know it. I, I did that so niggas could see like this this grind is for yeah. real like I'm not just I'm actually not just doing numbers just because I'm, I'm talking real shit but it's like it's the it's the work ethic that come with it and I understood that work ethic the same when I was doing fraud Nigga, I used to go in. Nigga, I used to be up late nights, bro, typing, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Because I knew the outcome of it. And yeah. I know the outcome of what the fuck I'm doing now. Like, if I keep this shit up for the next six months, nigga, it's coming. You know what I'm saying? But I've been doing this shit, and it's working. So I'm not going to let up. Like, it's like, I could go hire somebody, but it's like, they ain't got the same vision I got. Mm. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I was, I was there, too. Like, I just got employees this mm. year. Because it was just like, nobody got the same drive and ambition. Like, yeah. I know I, if I do it, the work going to get done. There's no plan Bs. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? So I just got them employees. So now with my employees, there's no excuses with me. You feel what I'm saying? Because I'm not giving y'all excuses. So once any, I see one excuse, you're gone. I got to get somebody else. So let me ask y'all this then. It might, it might change the, the dynamic a little bit. How y'all deal, having all the success, this work ethic, right? <laughs> We men though at the end of the day, I knew that day, was coming. Right? <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> I'm just saying. So where does the girls come into play? And how do you even, if, if you're looking to take a girl serious, right? 
<laughs> I, I, I'm just saying, yeah, like, when I tell you I'm on the phone with this nigga, man, I'm HBK, I'm a heartbreak kid, and I'm the one that's getting my heart broke. I ain't breaking no hearts. This nigga, I'm, I got, you heard him earlier, we said this nigga always arguing with somebody. Somebody always, it's the truth, bro. It's just like, but that goes back to what I was just finna say. He was forced to have nothing but sacrifice to focus on his craft. In less mm. than 90 days, look at where he got that. Go back to your 90 day rule. He, by choice, chose to do the same thing. Once again, I'm gonna keep everything straightforward and transparent. I'd be lying if I sat here and said I am just, and it's funny because he'd be looking at me like, damn, nigga, you got it together. Meanwhile, I'm probably finna get in the car and, man, she pissing me off. Well, you said what? And then I, the whole three hours went by to argue with somebody and I ain't got nothing accomplished. So that goes back to sacrifice. But once again, I ain't gonna lie, bro. <laughs> when you said, man, shit, I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna what hold about, it down. What about if you, like, so are y'all looking for anything serious? Can you even look for something serious? I was, I was at a, I, I was at a time. <laughs> I, was, I was at a time but then it was just like i forgot who i was mm. you feel what i'm saying i forgot who i was i was losing it you know what i'm saying focusing on getting somebody else um right and at the time everything was cool it was still honeymoon stage a lot of people forget that stage everything perfect but then once that honeymoon well, stage real life, off. that real life that shit like damn. You go from stop talking to me to shut the fuck just up. Shut the fuck up. I never like get the fuck out. Nah, not stop talking. You go from yeah, yeah. give me a second to bitch. What the fuck? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? So why it's just you like, talking right there? It go from that to that. It's just like I forgot about myself, and then it was just on some like I forgot who I was and my value. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Like I have no kids. I, I, I make a lot of money. I'm I'm educated. I'm cool. I'm a unicorn. I feel like you feel what I'm saying? So I don't owe nobody nothing. So at the end of the day, it was just on some, all right, KC, you gotta get back to, cause it's easy. Like I, I agreed to what he was saying. Like I've been fucking all my life. What can you really bring to my table? Right. You feel what I'm saying? What can you really bring? You feel me? If you can't make me better financially, like I can go to Hands and Stone and pay them to massage me. I cook for myself. Clean my own crib. I, clean I can my afford own a crib. cleaner. I, I exactly. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> Twice a week. So what? So you said you're not even looking for nothing for real. Um, I'm not looking for it. You know what I'm saying? If it came, if it was the right person. But if that's what I'm saying. So if it came, right? Yeah, if it Cause came. Because you, you my age. They a little younger. They probably, mm. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> How y'all fun? And that shit, I'm a lover boy, man. If it came, yeah. though, right? It mm. got to look a certain help. way. It got to present itself in a certain fashion. Mm -hmm. What's that? Not necessarily like um, aesthetics. Because, I mean, a bad bitch, bro. Not even aesthetics though, because no aesthetics. No, no I'm not saying. I'm not saying I mean, no. Yeah, I'm not saying no. Yeah, it gotta be. Yeah, I'm not saying no. I'm not it saying no. Be built a no certain way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not saying no, but I know what come with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, because you I sometimes agree. you gotta pick and choose because you can. You, you might get the baddest, but what does that so come pick. with? So the back. So oh, no, 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 no. You just fucked it up. You just set, you set yourself up. <laughs> pick. So the baddest bitch. Excuse my language. The baddest bitch. Body wise. Fine wise, aesthetically pleasing. I'm taking option number two. Right. I'm gonna fuck no what, it, what is. it is. Yeah. I'm sorry, I, I can't help it. That's why I'm in a position. I know. Know. The no. thing is, but, but, okay, I can say That's this all day. Man. That's why I am at where I'm at now. I be, I be so eye candy about, and then it, it, honeymoon stage, everything good. So they showing you, yeah. they working for you. You feel me? Right, everything ambition. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Now you got them locked in. Now it's been a couple months. Now it's years. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't do what you, if you don't do what they need, now the back door open. Mm -hmm. So, so dude, back to you. So you think oh, finesse? No, no, no. So you, so you saying <laughs> you would have a, you would, you would rather have a chick with our shit together? Yeah, I, and not and not as aesthetically pleasing as the rest. I, it, it's hard to say, man. But I know what I need. No, I no. I know what I need. You know what I'm saying? But like as niggas, we gonna go with look good. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We gonna it's human nature. That's male. What, what it is? What you, need? What, what you need? I need someone that's mentally strong. You know what I'm saying? That got his shit together. That's gonna help me elevate. That's what, what I really need. Can I ask y'all a question? Can but I ask y'all a question? Can I ask y'all a question? Out of ten, you gonna get one. Can I? Can I? Can I whisper something? Can and I, we fuck, usually fuck up that one. Can I ask y'all a question though? I'm gonna whisper this to y'all. You said mentally strong, right? Mm-hmm. Shit, they all be motherfucking damn good. Like, yeah. One, one out. I say one out of fucking two 10, out of bro. three. Two out of three, but we usually fuck up one, and we try to go back to that one okay. when we get the second one. I say two. I was, but we always fuck up good shit though. Yeah. I ask you a question out of yeah. ten girls, cause you've never used to it. No, I'm, I'm asking you. What matter of fact, let me ask you the first question. What's mentally strong in a woman? 
somebody who can observe issues, neglect, trauma, understand your issues and neglect and trauma, mm-hmm. understand how to work and evolve around them. When when fem- when I say when pe- niggas say they want peace, I don't think they mean peace and relativity to like cook for me, clean for me, like you said. Mm-hmm. You know, but that goes also the background too and demographic and then that go back to the number one popular clip of is you gonna fuck with a nigga who is you know you know working a nine to five or a nigga that's you know doing good in life. Nine times out of ten, a nigga who's financially stable. You can you can accommodate yourself financially with those things you want to find in a woman. A nigga who has a nine to five, he can't financially financially accommodate himself in that. Right. So those things are gonna be pleasurable to him. Damn, she massaged me. Damn, she cooked for me today. Damn, I ain't had no time to wash none of these clothes. My dicky sour as hell. I come home, my uniform washed. But for a nigga like us, man, shit, I see Lola twice a week. My mm-hmm. shit clean faithfully. Faithfully. My, I don't even walk. I barely walk my own dog. I got seven, eight bitches in the building. That, can I walk your dog? Sure, walk them. I don't feel like walking them. <laughs> Go for it. You know what I'm saying? I'm hungry. <laughs> I, let me ask you though. But, 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 so, yeah, that's how I deal. That's cool. So, so mentally strong is, is, is somebody who can understand your vulnerabilities and allow you to be vulnerable and help you become stronger. But you say you don't need a chick. You said a, a nigga with a nine to five will be okay with that, right? But guess what? Once you get a chick, those five to six bitches that's walking your dog doesn't exist no more. Exactly, but that's what I'm talking. So about. a girl that's gonna but, walk but your before, dog is important. You of course, exactly. Because you gotta, you gotta, you gotta replace that, that those ten. five chicks. But no, listen, Lola, maybe that's different because you. I don't know we if, pay, if Lola, pay, uh, all right, that's cool, that's different, that's pay. different. But if you got chicks, so if you got chicks that's that's cooking for you, if you got chicks that's that's walking your dog, and you got chicks that's cleaning for you because you just that nigga. That's the same, right? If you get a girl. You take it serious, she got to at least replace all three of those things because you got that coming from other chicks. But I'm willing to do that myself if I can get somebody. It's the mental here. Mm. It's here. This is what... Are you know, willing to do it yourself because you don't do it now? You got somebody doing it for you. Yeah, right. I could. I ain't tripping. I don't got no issue with doing that. All right, it's asking. here, though. I think I'm it's here. Asking. Like you said, I think it's here. We, women fail to think about... Like, okay, we understand, okay, when women walking out the gas that you get sexually harassed, okay? We understand y'all had y'all physical traumas. We understand y'all got your body shaming. We understand there's other men telling you what to do with your body. But you know what I'm saying? I got to think about when I walk out of here. Like, bro got pipe. I got pipe. He got pipe. I got to worry about, damn, if this nigga blow my ass off today. Damn, did I just take a loss today? You mm. know what I'm saying? How my day going to go today? Do I got to worry about dying? You know what I'm saying? Nah, if facts. I get pulled over if the I get pulled t- up. Exactly. So when I'm sitting here and, and you see... Even some some people they 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 inner reflect the shit. They 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 likely to implode instead of explode. Mm. Men who are too emotional they explode. That's that's a different story yeah. for a different day. But niggas who implode who are introverted with themselves. When you start noticing these things, a lot of women don't try to understand their male. You know mm. what I'm saying? They just they just understand what they do, but they don't understand what they are. Mm. So okay. you need a chick that's mentally there. Yo, I said this the other day. Like I posted this. I said, man, choose your women wisely, bro. And that statement right there is so strong because you'll either have a woman either taking or adding. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like pick, you know what I'm saying? Like niggas, we, especially guys with money, we attract this certain type of women. And these women mostly subtract. They want time, they want money, they want all type of shit. They want everything. Everything. They want all. And it's they like, well, you're not bringing nothing to my table. And it's like, you're, you're subtracting from my life. You're taking away, you're taking energy away from my fucking, my, my purpose. Mm. You taking away from purpose, like you're not even adding to that shit. So it's like we choose women solely off looks, and it's not. It's damaging. That shit's so damaging. Like, damaging, I, bro. I swear to God. Because I was just talking. I was just talking to my mom about this shit. I'm like, she like, yo, you keep going for these certain type of females, and I'm just like, I man, like that's what I like. Like you know what I'm saying. But the real type of females is the ones that got motion. They might not look as good, mm-hmm. but they got motion. Mm. And all I gotta do is add on to it. And then ego and they comes. add on to mine. What's ego. a bad that go back to the thing where the nigga think a bad what's a bad bitch, you know what I'm saying? Like it's plenty it's plenty square bitches out here you could boss up, you know what I'm saying? But, but it's plenty bad bitches like, out here that are squares I on think, the inside. I did that that build a bear shit. Like I ain't niggas ain't doing that. No yeah, I no, did no, no, that. No, no, no. What right. I'm saying is when I say bill, I'm saying Pull your like, mic closer a little bit. Well, when Pull I say, when I say bill, I'm saying like I boom, like, okay, you see a bad bitch, boom, okay, what you consider to be a bad bitch. This how niggas, this how niggas determine what a bad bitch is, what other niggas deem to be a bad That's bitch. That's a fact. That, you so beat you know me to it, though. You know what's crazy? Y'all, y'all ain't gonna feel me for this. <laughs> <laughs> niggas be gay, low key. <laughs> niggas be gay, bro. Nine, nine, nine. Another, bro, <laughs> another nigga, bro, I'm just saying, bro, talk like, I feel like we can, we can, we can, we can talk, because niggas should know way niggas stand. Y'all, I mean, yeah, I hope so. Spit it out. Absolutely. Go I ahead. feel like, a lot of times, bro, like we say, niggas talk more than bitches. Niggas more emotional than bitches. Mm-hmm. Niggas is the new bitches. I'm gonna be real. Yeah. And I had to, I'm gonna be real. I had to learn that coming up. I'm gonna keep it hundred. I'm gonna be real. I, if y'all don't want coming up, what I just say? A lot of times I was choosing bitches 
Because I know niggas can't, I'm that nigga. But niggas can't get this bitch. Yeah, so that's my ego talking. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's some bitch shit. That's some homosexual shit. I'm going to be real. That shit is gay. My nigga, what the fuck are you? You want to bitch another bitch because that nigga can't have her. You thinking more about that nigga than you is about yourself. Sure. You want to like get her just as the next man want. say he want to get her. And I just feel like, a, man, I'm a real nigga. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like, yo, a lot of niggas. That's probably sound crazy. But I'm just saying, I was able to see that. A lot of times a nigga, a nigga is going to kill a nigga because he can't see his, his emotion. Yeah. He can't understand that he's hating. The, the moment you can understand your emotion, you can stop it. But the niggas that can't, you can control it. But if you, if you don't, you, you ignorant, you're blind. I feel like that's what blindness is. Niggas be so blind that they walk off a fucking cliff. Don't be so blind that you kill yourself. I'm just saying, like that's what I was just saying. That go back to what you would do. Man, that's and, and that's you and that's I had to I had to realize, like, bro, all these bitches I'm trying to prove to. I'm, what am I proving? I'm gonna get myself fucking killed. I got something for that. Why bitches wear purses? To show their status. Why niggas want a certain bitch? To show his status. That's your purse, nigga. Mm. Come on now. Nah. Well, maybe he ain't gay then. Maybe he's just trying to show us. They trying to flex. No, you you beat me. You saying I just feel like niggas. It is. Niggas is like. And I had to get out of that weird shit. Man, like, it's, that's it's weird. Been, it's been this way before time. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, that shit is weird. Like Women is the da- a woman is the downfall of every great man. Yeah, no, nah, facts. I, I say niggas always say money money is the uh, the root of all evil. Mm. I'm gonna get canceled because I feel like mm. in every movie that you watch, every movie to Scarface to uh, to woman, mm. woman was it money really? <laughs> The woman, but it wasn't the woman that did it. It was the it lack was the of nigga. control yeah. that they had over the woman. Choosing women wisely. Right. Nah, facts. I feel I like know, I know a female. I ain't gonna say her name. She folks, but she told me personally. She said I just talk to all athletes. They easy to milk. Mm. Easy to milk. You feel what I'm saying? Like I know I could get this and that off of them. And guess what? If you wanna have a kid by one of them, it's a rap. That it's a rap. So let me ask y'all this then. You rather. I just asked this. This is crazy. I'm wilding right now. Would you rather pay for the pussy? Pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> pay for it. Go ahead. You I just said another, you ain't paying for no another, pussy, I bro. Another, uh, I just swear to you just said it. I loop on I Listen, you, I don't pay for pussy. I ain't know you're talking about how to you don't pay for pussy. No, no. no I know. But, so, so you saying you don't pay for pussy? Not saying. How much average date? Listen, average hold date. on, nigga. Nah, make it harder. Hold on, nigga. I All know right. what you mean. I don't just pay for. So it, let me ask you. But I am paying for the process. Yeah. So let me ask you. What's what's? Is it more beneficial to pay for it? Then pay for the process because the process, let's say, the date gonna be six hundred. No, I think nah. that depends because you can pay for, but the respect level ain't gonna be. The I same. like the chase, man. I mean, I, I'm not gonna lie, but I you can you. also chase it. But also, if a female knows she really fucking with you, you ain't gonna have to do nothing. That's I, not. A, she ain't gonna know she fuck with you until you put some work she ain't in. I, I didn't even say what I was saying. So listen, right? let me, nah. <laughs> I said this nigga so much, <laughs> Me and this nigga share so much mind blowing shit. He be like, bro, what you do? So let me ask you. So you, so you, so you telling me is a chick? Chicks out there, I mean, it's chicks out there, but the chick that you want, you ain't putting no effort in? Of course, if I want her, I'm so going to pursue it. Right, so if you're putting some effort in, but then, but how, then how, how much money is but into the effort? I'm not, pers- I'm not seeking pussy at that point. But how, much, but how much is money is into the effort? It depends it's on... a lot. That's a lot. That's a <laughs> lot. I don't think so. <laughs> That's a, I mean, for you're me, for, for me, it's just like, oh, like, I'm paying for the process. You know about like how much the process costs the trip already. Like I gotta book matter. the flight. You know what I'm saying? I already gotta book matter. the flight. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, all right, book the flight. We go out to eat. The night is already the night. It's already because I'm giving you a vibe you never got before. So I'm paying for the process. What's she telling but I feel she like if you got, got plenty bitches, they're gonna want to prove they something. That this nigga, I don't even know why he said pay for it because you know damn well bitches like well, finesse. What do I need to do? Do I need to cook for you? Do I need to... You want to use my car? Matter of fact, my dad has a jet. So I'm gonna go get the keys right now. That's, that's that internet but shit. But now let me ask you that. No, no, let me ask you. No, because what that? Not. Nah, I'm, I'm so you. when they know you got bitches, you don't have to. But there no, is no I'm process. You. At no, that point. it is. Oh my god, you just don't understand it yet. Let me tell you, the chick that want that wanted right. It's so much that comes with it. I have a girlfriend. I love you, babe. I'm just like, I'm just talking game with the fellas. Just let, let that be known. The chick that wants you so bad, it comes with a lot, right? Of course. So let's say the chick that, what I got to do, what I got to do. Bet. Cool. Let's tap in. If I want some time the next day, I can't get that because now she she blowing my phone up. She It's so much. So I ask that because sometimes 
If I can pay, if the date six hundred, right? You gotta do the date. You gotta take what come with the date, bro. If I can pay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold and, on, bro. And, and 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 I don't have to take the headache behind it. I'm still gonna get. Hey, bro, regardless. hold on, real quick, bro. A lot of guys, man, and I hate. If this I was shit. single, hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> A lot of guys, they don't, they don't do this. They don't tell the females what it is off rip. Oh, that's yeah. bullshit. Off rip, no, it's not, bro. All right, cause you might. No, it's not. I, does that does that does that matter? Talk to me. Does that matter, bro? How many times you told a girl I don't want a fucking relationship? And niggas, no, bro. Niggas That's say that, and then they be the ones to catch their feelings. So you t so you tell. I swear to God, finesse in my line. Who's the? I am a rude nigga. I swear to God, he be like, damn. He we was sitting. I think it was that swing. He said, bro, I thought I was rude. I you like, called yourself. Uh, what you call yourself, Captain Saber? It wasn't that. You said no, I ain't gonna lie. I'm a lover boy for real. Yeah. I'm a lover boy, but I mean, he know that. I be on. I'm damn about the call this nigga tomorrow. I'm be like, man, you know, so and so, I took my in. So you <laughs> ain't that rude. But no, what I'm saying is, nah, but that's for what I rude. what I like. But what I'm saying, I tell bitches straight up, like, bro, like. Like nigga, like I don't want, I don't, I don't want no, no lunch or no dinner dates. I just want to penetrate. Like I was you know saying, I, you know, I swear to God, the last check I, I said that, we been like, been together for five years. Exactly, because because it's known up front. There are no. But no, intentions. you missed my point. <laughs> like, no, bro. I feel like I feel, I feel like, like oh, oh, oh. I feel like if you tell a bitch what you're looking for in the beginning, and she tell you what it is, y'all are gonna naturally come together. When you, so, pe what do peacocks do? They fluff their feathers, right? Peacocks mm -hmm. fluff their feathers just to fuck. Mm -hmm. So I'm not trying to fluff my feathers. This is what I am. You take it or leave it. Yeah, and what I'm saying is, you could tell a chick that though, right? But if you ain't walking in that. That's what I'm saying. A lot of niggas don't keep it real. That's what he said, my bad. He said What that I'm part. saying is, what I'm saying is, all you gotta do is keep it a bean with them. Mm. Sometimes they, they wanna just fuck. You feel what I'm saying? That's just what it is. You be like, yo, you know, we go on a date. That's just what it is. That's the vibes. I'm not looking for no relationship right now. It is conflict that come with that, though, because then if they catch feelings, if they, they catch feelings, then... if they catch feelings, we all guys, hey, get a dub. We out. Let's go to the night. Like, you feel what I'm saying? It, it, it don't be that though. easy, though. We got multiple. Oh, I don't know. I feel like it really do. It be that easy for you? Bro, you just saw what, what, what bro just did on bro. Bro had the phone. I was like, man, look. <laughs> that ain't. Hey, so, hey, what's your, what I don't know. I, so I just feel like, I feel like as men, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe because, I don't know. I just try to preach a different way because I feel like with that comes a, a lot of problems. But like, I don't I'll, know. I'll, I mean, you right, though. I'd rather not What type problem. of problems? Bro, if, bro, if a chick like you, bro. Popping up at your house. Bro, if a chick like you. Flat tires. Why she got to come where I live at? Like, she hotels. No like, you feel well, what I'm saying? Like, y'all not thinking. Y'all I was just talking. Shake to my guy. Shake to my guy. I was talking to my folks about this shit. I said, bro, like, I need y'all niggas to come to the city because I'm losing my fucking mind. I'm just tricking. Like you feel oh, what I'm I mean. saying? Yeah, I'm just tricking because it's just like, <laughs> like it's just like, yo, if I'm with the guys, I ain't got word. Like they gonna be like, yo, you tripping? You don't need to pay for that. Like you feel what I'm saying? But for female, me, you gotta spend, spend, you gotta spend, spend, spend. 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 You feel? I'm what going to the mall to give me some forces, and she talking about she over there in Bottega. You feel me? What? Like what you doing? Like you mean? So I told them, I'm like, yo, like. You know, I when I was hungry, when I ain't had a bread, it was just off of looks. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'm saying that because I got swag a off of talk. You feel what I'm saying? Now it's what you got. I, I got, got the, the money awful. now. It's like yo, you like, be the, they go back. You be the lamest, lamest, corniest nigga in Atlanta. But all oh, this, this nigga fucking everybody because shit, he got a bag. He got a bag. Well, you know, you really got a mouthpiece on you. You really know you coming with that pressure. <laughs> but he, he got the bag. So when you come around, shit, our pussy might get wet. But then she see this nigga, that bitch get dry. But she like, man, fuck it. He got the bag. I'm gonna fuck, I'm fuck this nigga. I play a different game. What's the game you play? Let me know, bro. I don't. I don't do too many dates. I don't. I'm not spending money for real, and it's only because I'm choosing the women that blatantly just want to fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I'm not. I'm not doing the choosing, bitch. You gonna? I mean, I said, bitch. Girl, <laughs> the girl is doing the choosing. So like, I'm picking these type of women. Like, they they gonna they so ready to be around me, and as soon as we get around, it's like I don't got to do none of that shit. You know what I'm exactly. saying? So it's like. I pick them type of women. I don't choose the women that like, damn, she bad as fuck. It's like I be one to. It's like, but I already know how much money I gotta spend, how much time I gotta spend. Like, let me just let me go for the women that just want me for now. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm I, I'm grinding right now. I'm focused. I can't pick them type of women because they it, it come with too much. It come too much time. I ain't got the time for it. You gonna find? I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm, gonna, I'm I hope I don't jinx you, but hope I hope I do. You gonna find a chick, right? Yeah. She gonna yeah y'all gonna meet y'all gonna be cool, and she gonna just add. Nothing but value, and you're gonna be like, you're gonna fall in love. That's the best she gonna just be, she the gonna be giving you game on YouTube. She's like, yo, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. Yeah, yeah. She's gonna be giving you like, <laughs> but the most successful a, niggas got, got women a, behind them, though. For sure. I'm gonna get pregnant. So let me ask you this. <laughs> nah, so let me ask you this. <laughs> he for, on what I'm for the right woman, right? So for the, for the right woman, right? How, hypothetically, if it go wrong, but for the right woman, how much is she worth far as 
a prenup. If she was the if she was the right woman, this is she, what got us in an argument. She like, gave yeah. you she gave no. I'm just curious. If she gave you, she added value. But let's just say long long term down the line, it ain't worth. But it was respectful. You know what I'm saying? How much is she worth? If you had to pay her, I mean, and a percentage. We don't have to say a number, but let's say a percentage I'm, of I'm what you made. Like if she was there before my prime, yeah, that's what yeah, I'm it depends on what, yeah. what, what point she when came yeah. in. Now, nah, if she was there before your prime, what was the point of entry? You know I mean? Like right now, right? If she came in right now, I gotta be logical. I gotta see here because that's what the court though. They're gonna look at logic. Like, okay, what did, what could you have yeah. not accomplished without? Yeah. Her? Minus the court though, what, how much she worth? Percentage, give me a percentage. I mean, whatever she accomplished will allow me to accomplish. If allowed me to accomplish eighty percent of success in my life, she worth eighty percent. If she accomplished only ten percent by cooking me meals and folding my, you gonna give her eighty percent? She only cooked my cooked my meals and folded my clothes for ten years, and I built a million billion dollar company. She that, that's, that's just ten percent of that's, efficiency. That's in so ten percent. That's a ten percent. I mean, that's not bad though. Life. Depending on what she that doing. How much are you worth? Ten percent is good though. Her percentage of what 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 it is. Do you want to do you want a big piece of the little pot or a little piece of the big pot? Are I mean, ten percent is a lot though. But are you the big pot or the little pot? If she bringing <laughs> value to my empire, <laughs> you know what I mean, then it's only right to share it with her. But if she not bringing shit and just folding and. Washing the dishes and massaging that's me and shit like that. What's bringing value to part. your empire? What is that? It's bringing, putting me in rooms that I can't go into. That's why you got females around you. You feel me? Bringing me money, bringing me financial. Yeah, if I'm down to DM, my, yeah, make them cash out. Yeah, make them cash out, yo. Man, I'm, let's go milk this nigga right here. He in my DMs. Let's do. You feel what I'm saying? Value. That's value. <laughs> and you if you me? smart, if you smart, and I see she got them hustler tenacities, I'm gonna give her her own platform. I'm gonna give her her own mm. platform. So I start your own. Give me a number, Casey. Yeah. What? Give me a number. What's, what's she worth? If if down the line y'all don't work out, but it's respectful, how much she worth percentage wise? It depends on which, where you at. No, I'm saying, I'm t- like, if you let's say you you made if she made me what's, boss up, what's what's, what's, what's bossing up to you? Let's say what ten million. If you, 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 oh, you, you said she get offset number. Okay, she get a nigga 10 million. No, no, no. You you up 10 million. What's, what's the girl worth that was worth it? However much she contributed to me accomplishing right, that 10 million. Bit. If she if she good, she added value, she did everything. You, you how said. much? What, 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 what was type? I don't know. She added value. So though. if I was at 50 and she bossed me up to 10. <laughs> I, I don't know. If, like, whatever, have, whatever. Man. We can't really. You can't, I'm saying I don't want to. I don't want to add a number to it. But I'm saying if you met her, right? You was at less than. You ain't even have a mill. You had two hundred thousand, right? You met her, but she added value. Like you said, she calling you with the niggas. She calling you with the plays. She letting she bring you around girls. She might not even get you to me, but she 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 and adds she's value she to you. She gonna have her own motion just by having sure. helping me with my motion. She not even gonna care about that letter. But what is she worth though? Depends. It's still depends. You know what? what you bring. She's worth the the memory. The efficiency, the thought, <laughs> the no, what a percent is no, I'm no, no, all right, all right. She's worth, she's worth what you are today, but truly, she's worth like the, 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 the not what's not the condolence, but the, 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 the congratulations. Listen, the, the award. she's worth the cars, yeah, the house. Then she already gonna so, have that's so, so finesse, have. finesse. Yeah. If you had a chick that came in like right now, right, and you was able to grow with her, you was able to boss up, you was able mm-hmm. to, to whatever you have right now, and now you up 10 million, and let's say 20. 25 years down the line, it don't work out respectfully though. Not on no bullshit, like just y'all had to go y'all separate ways. If if, if y'all didn't have a prenup, let's say right? Let's say 100 mil. Um, That's, oh, my bad. Yeah, 100 mil. <laughs> um, we can talk different. You up 100 mil, right? 100 M's. You up 100 mil. Let's say you, you ain't have to, you didn't have a prenup. Yeah. Y'all don't have to go to court, but you want to respectfully walk away because she, she mm. was, she was worth it. What's the percentage or number? Uh, it, I wouldn't even um, let that, let it, let what she did like okay he was saying like okay she just only cooked the clean okay that's like but that's still a lot it's not i don't think it's worth ten percent yeah because when you busy like and, and she yeah. helping you flow through life ten percent is crazy though <laughs> yeah ten percent is crazy <laughs> um, if i'm up 100 m's i wouldn't mind giving her 40. Mm. you know what i'm saying like if, if you help me scale to this and who's to say if i if i didn't have you in my life i wouldn't have gotten there so man i give you 40 i can make that shit again shit. Mm. so and i don't give a fuck what you're gonna do with the money Bitch. So that's forty <laughs> percent. That's that's forty percent. Forty percent. I can't give you half because nah, like I'm. I'm and that's what no. You I'm don't have to more. sign. You don't have to sign no prenup. That's I, like you know I what. Give it forty. It sounds easy to say. Yeah, that's my. Giving, giving away forty m's is just, but it really depends on the woman what she did for me. But if I'm up a hundred m's, man, shit, you spent all this time with me. We we got these memories together. And there ain't no hate, there ain't no no bad blood here, man. Cool. I'm like, close with you. I think did. his uh, wife, his wife became the richest woman in America when they divorced. He made yeah. this shit right back. I do. Right back. I think you I would do. Me? I think I'm close to you. I probably would do like 30, 35. Yeah. I think I would like do 30, 35. Now hold up, though. You know what I'm saying? You gotta go back home after you say that. 
Yeah, no, I told, but I told, no, I, t- it's, I, I had this conversation. I told my girl, girl I'm, I'm pro, I'm pro prenup though, like, cause I don't, I think people talk about prenups as a negative. Like, I feel like it's, it could be a good it's thing a game too. Plan. It's a life plan. It's a business. It's like so it's like, yo, sure. like I feel like if you, if I told my girl, I'm like, yo, if you come and you add value, you feel me? Like, I don't mind breaking bread because without you, I wouldn't even if even at bare minimum, bare minimum, like y'all said, clean, cooking clean. I ain't had to cook for myself. I ain't had to clean for myself. You made it easier for me. That, for me, that's how I look at it. I know y'all might not look at it. For me, at bare minimum, if you're doing that, that's good. That's, that's a, a lot relationship like a business too, though. Like, if you can't sit with your partner they and don't talk about the business. They don't look at it like that no more, though. No, no, okay, not, let's say business. Let's take away business, then. That's since, I, I since, since 2022. Like that. They said, man, I ain't your business. But, okay, but <laughs> no, if you I can't just... sit with a partner and make a plan, like y'all just said, plan and preparation. If I can't make a plan with you and you get offended by a plan, if I sit with him and say, man, we finna make this money. Paid in full, a perfect example. Paid in full, a perfect example. You know what I'm saying? This nigga was trying to tell everybody the plan, but nobody wanted to hear the plan. Nah, everybody was beefing about the plan. But that's what, like for me, just me. I'm just saying me, right? We all different. I feel like for yeah. me, honestly, the cooking and cleaning is cool because I, these are things that I really don't care to do. But when either. you got the money to do it, then what? Now, nah, now nah, that's different. That's exactly what, what, what value. But, then that goes back but, to what you said. What value? But she also, bring you? she not even gonna want to do it. Nah, facts. Nah, facts. She not even gonna want to do it. Nah, facts. Is is so? Okay, matter of fact, I I'm gonna fuck him up. You said, what's good? What do I want in money? Fuck a strong man. I want indisposability. Mm. What can I get out of you that I will never find? If you die, if I leave you, if we separate, we divorce. Indisposability. I told him in a podcast, and you want indisposability. Huh? But right, though. But what's indisposable about you? Everybody has an indisposable feature. What's mm. indisposable about you? What's indisposable? I know for me, nobody thinks like I think. I, 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 Kanye West, he thinks his, like, his, his creativity and fashion is indisposable. If Kanye West dies, there's never another Kanye West. That's a fact. I think for me, it's definitely like my work ethic. I hate that compliment. That's indis- but so if you feel like your work, ma- your work ethic is unrivaled and unmatched, that's your indisposability. So a woman may be able to come to you and say, I could take a man no matter when he at his lowest and show him how to look at the brighter things in his life and show him how to grind. That one thing he may grab out of her, no matter what, he never finds that anywhere. There's but no I just don't want to. I don't want to lose the part. So like, even not even cooking the clean. That's just a bare minimum, right? That's like, disposable. So I, I, though. Think, I think my girl. I tell her all the time. I think she don't even like this compliment. Is like she's super nurturing. I feel like she can take anything. She could take a fucking poppy flower seed. I don't know, and, and make a tree. You feel me? Like I feel like her nurturing. That's for not disposable. Me, for me, that is special. You get what I'm saying? Because. One, I never had that. I never, I never knew what it looked like. And it's more than just cooking and cleaning. It's, t- it's bringing, it's putting life into exactly. me when, when I don't even have a life for myself, to be right. honest, right? It's been times where, like, I want to quit. And she, like, look at it like this, da da da. You got to, like, shit like that, I feel like a lot of women don't you have. You can't find it in no, you can't find it in no bitch, no woman, no hoe, no, 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 nothing, no escort, none of that shit. You're not going to find it in none of that. No cap. So that's what I'm saying. That's not, that's not a disposable. And I think that's worth 35%. Right? I feel that's like that's a good, that's, that's worth piece. everything, though, if you can continue to get Ooh. that. Yeah. That's Damn. indisposable though. You Damn. can't buy something that's indisposable. But it ain't worth everything because I'm saying high with that 25 years down the lane, we break. I still I need mean. something for myself. I'm just saying. Of course, I yeah. think 35. I but it's worth a lot though. 35 is good, no? 35 is a good number. I think that's 35 million. To be real off though, 100? I don't even want to marry for love, bro. I mm. want to. I want to marry for business. Marriage is a contract. Sure. It's that's, that's what sure. I'm saying. People business. lost that. We lost that. That mindset. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. It's I want to marry contract. for business. Yeah. Like, for sure. Can we goddamn build this empire and then we we could have the love on the back because we can have people a big people wedding. get married for love and fall out of love and now this shit over with marriage is for we spiritual got, growth we got financial this business growth deal. and f- economical growth facts so, so do y'all growth. care about the like the big wedding like i'm not right now in yeah. my space right now i don't really care too much about getting married uh, I, give, I, give, no way I, I give it a ring and yo, yeah we married sign these papers <laughs> hundred mil. that's like, for the chick though y'all want that what the ring no the the big ass uh wedding no, I'm good. <laughs> oh, no, nah, man, I think it was. Uh, I'm gonna let y'all get out of here, man. I know y'all. Got you shit good, man? Right? No, for the ring. Ain't numbers of hoes out there. My bad, bro. You should ask. Like, I, I had two more upstairs. I, 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 I could have brought mine, shit. Yeah, I got. Kind of, for me, like, we got this shit. Niggas don't play, niggas. There, like, we got more mice. But no, I fuck with. I think. Um, yo, you ain't really go into the the real estate. You was talking some shit when we. Was, you was like, yo, how did if if I if I wanted to get. Multiple cribs, right? What's first of all? What's the best home to get? As far as the type, mm-hmm. uh, I mean, you can't ever lose a single family residential starting off. I feel like I heard somebody say that you don't want to get that. Man, everybody told me well, you can get into commercial real estate is easier, but it just depends on your interest and your ex- your exit man- strategy, how you come in and how you leave out. Like for example, he might have lenders and credit cards. He from the streets. He got straight cash. His interest strategy not gonna be the same as his. His exit strategy not gonna be the same either. For him, he's sitting on heavy cash. 
So he needs to know how to clean his cash and get his cash right. Cash right. Multifamily is going to be his best option. Him, if you'll be breaking out. You'll be fi- trying to, for every dollar you spend, trying to clean 50 cents, he'll be all day. Mm. Him, he's using credit. So he can scale way faster than this guy because he, uh, he's not even using his own money. So single family, you know, residential may be better for him. You know, so it just depends. Or commercial in a sense. Commercial will be better for him. Development, land, industrial, multifamily. So internet and extra strategy. Damn. I, bro, we, I'm going to just let y'all go because we could be <laughs> in for like two more hours. No. Borrow a HELOC. Avon. Avon.com. That's, that's a, you could borrow. It's a HELOC credit card. So you borrow from Avon. That wait, trade wait, line the question was, if you got your own crib, right? right? I got my first, my first. You got equity in it? You need to get an appraisal on your house every two years. You got your own crib. Because they ain't going to hear you. You got, you got your own crib. Yeah. And what else? And you want to sell it? No, 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 no. I'm asking. I have my own crib, but I'm also trying to like get the other crib. So if somebody got their own crib. So if somebody got their own, if somebody got their own crib, they trying to get an Airbnb. Borrow against your house. But see, when it come to Airbnb, look, you, you can borrow against your house. So if you if you got your house at a hundred and your your house one fifty, borrow the fifty out of it, yeah. and then put that fifty into something. But when it come to Airbnb, bro, Airbnb, unless it's somebody can log in on their portal on live and, and share with you what they're bro. I had seventeen units. And I'm gonna give my dog a shout out again, even though she might want to punch me in the mouth. Alexia Wright, she's the goat when it comes to Airbnb. I give her that because I was when I was when I first came to Atlanta, I ain't never seen a fucking 23, 24 year old woman pulling up Maserati, pulling up wagon, showing me this unit, showing me that unit, showing me this unit. But aside from these other people that's in Atlanta, bro, I've yet to see a nigga who can pull up all of their listings and go into their listings and show me what their deposits are. Niggas will show you, oh, I'm getting the 14k payout today. Of that so wait, so you, you don't you don't like Airbnb? Airbnb is cool if you know how to scale and you know how to grow it. Me, I like turnkey Airbnb. It's where I get the unit, I lease out the furniture from like court, full house, uh, or, or, or uh, a, a furniture rental center place. I, I put the furniture in the unit. I let the unit cash flow for 90 days and I sell it to somebody. Cause it's on, if, I, if I cash it, so if I pay the rent up three months, then I'm already looking at five to 10k. Hypothetically speaking, I'm a furnished unit. That's another 5K. That's 15K, right? Now I got a cash flow. It. Um, instead of me buying the furniture, I'm gonna rent the furniture. Bro, to rent two bedrooms worth of furniture, a thousand dollars, if that, from court, or you can use the other websites like Full House. Full House is a little bit more expensive. So boom, I'm gonna pay the rent. I'm gonna pay the rent up for nine. I'm gonna have enough to pay the rent for ninety days. I'm gonna I'm gonna have enough to cover the furniture rent for ninety days, and then I'm gonna sell somebody the unit. So I'm gonna sell it to him and say, give me thirty for it, and give me twenty percent on the back end of everything you get. Damn. So now he's managing, and then I can sell it to him, sell it to him. So now I'm selling 10, 15 turkey, turkey units. But then once I scale, people also don't know about channel managers. It's not just Airbnb. You got Zeus Corporate Housing, where they're they long-term leasing, getting contracts with like Tyler Perry Studios here, Sony here. Warner Brothers got a, uh, had a headquarters here, I think. Uh, uh, even corporate. But why would, I sell, why would I sell my, my, my spot for 30 when I'm gonna make, I can make 50? Well, who's to say? And that's just one year. Well, but uh, scaling, optimizing, outsourcing. Let somebody else do the work. So if I if I catch this, I but take the twenty percent, like you said, take leveraging. It's called leveraging. Okay, so take that twenty percent. You just you can back, sell them so you're still making some. So so cash flow. So when I, that was when I asked y'all outside, how much is your business worth? Yeah, I can tell you how much I make, but I can't tell you a valuation. You can put a valuation on anything that's cash flowing. So if I got five units bringing me ten thousand dollars a month, that's fifty thousand dollars a month times twelve. What's my cash flow minus operating expenses? Insurances and any other unforeseen expenses, reserves, and all of that. And I can say, well, based off my five year projection, my business is worth $10 million. So give me some money. So now I can go to him and say, yo, lo, look, I got a $10 million game plan. Show me the number. Show it to him. Boom, he give me $5 million of that. Give me, mm-hmm. and now you own 50% of my portfolio. Or along with that, I can cash flow that one unit, sell him that whole unit. So I cash flow for 90 days to show that it's cash flow positive. Then he gonna buy the unit that whole. I just profited off of that. I'm renting the furniture and I'm renting the unit and the lease is in my name. So I'm just gonna do a sublease agreement with him that's just between me and him because it's not valid with the complex. But I'm gonna do it between me and him. And then boom, he has a unit. He's gonna manage the unit. He's gonna manage the cleaning. He's gonna manage everything. And I'm gonna get that 20% on the back end. And then I got my money to go get two more units, eight more units, 10 more units, 15 more units. And then just scale. Airbnb is cool though. You just gotta know how to scale. Hey, Gilly and Wallo, I love you, but this is a million dollars worth of game right here. Yo, you gotta just know how to scale. If, f- if you're smart, man, y'all need to become this nigga friend. <laughs> nah, no cap. Sure. Like, that's what, listen. Nigga had in your back pocket, bro. Gilly, Wallo, I, I fuck with you guys, man. Y'all niggas is doing some great shit, but this is a million dollars worth of game right Turkey, here. Turnkey Airbnb is where the money at, not just just doing it yourself. Convention. Yo, I appreciate y'all for pulling up. Um, y'all want to say what to follow y'all and all that shit, man. Tap man, I hope y'all enjoyed this shit. I fuck with it. It was fire. Cause he ready to go to sleep over here.
No, I'm outside, nigga. Look at him. Now he talk, I, look, look at him. I know, look at I know, him. I know, I know, I know. I'm about to go lay up with wifey, man. She about to. Who is Rich Porter on Instagram? Who is Rich Porter on Twitter? Who is Rich Porter on um, TikTok too? But Instagram really my main platform. Free master court master classes once a month, and uh, that's it, man. Y'all can follow me on all platforms. KC the Goat. All right. Um, Instagram took the link out the bio, so DM me. I'm very hands on. I DM you right back. Um, free consultations if you need any type of negatives off your report. We getting them deleted in 30, 30 days, six months. That's all I need to change your life. You get late late payments taken off too? Late payments, the whole nine. You lose the whole account? The whole nine. I ain't gonna lie, you know what I'm saying? Wait, you get a late payment taken off? Late payment. Without without defaults in the whole account? Let me ask. It's closed. I don't touch no open account. Let me ask. Let me ask you this. Touch no open. So wait. So if it's open, you don't take the late payment. Touch it because you losing debt. You losing debt. Mm. So you know it's better saying? to have the now I would ask for I would ask for forgiveness on it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I would ask. It's, look, look what happened. We still in a pandemic. Pandemic started late 2019, 2020, 2021. Right now, right? It's still hardships out here. You know what I'm saying? You can use that. Pot, chicken pox came out. You had chicken pox. You you missed. You know the the deadline. Ask for forgiveness. We got letters and stuff like that. That I generated up and we send it off directly. So when you to get forgiveness, it, it turns the late payment you into. You change it, you switch it. Sheesh. You, you feel would just show us none, uh, instead of missed payment, just blank, or it shows payment. They would either say no data or they would put let it me, Let me ask you something. For the people out there that are struggling, right? Yeah. Because I, I had to tell somebody this, and I've seen this on the podcast, but I'm going to ask you. For people that's out there that are struggling and they can't make their payments, right? What do you suggest when it comes to everyday bills? versus like you know credit card bills and, and not trying to have no late payments and things like that minimum minimum payments i usually fade away from minimum payments because that's when the banks make their interest mm. but you don't want to miss no late payments so i was telling somebody you help me i was telling somebody man you can always get your credit good handle what you got to handle so you don't get put yeah. out nah, and then because, handle that on because the back creditors they got policies as well mm. stating that they not changing it and if they if it's right there and written, you know what I'm saying, and they gave you notification, you still you know it's law consumer laws you got to read into it. You know Google consumer laws, and we all consumers here. You know when I say consumer report, that's your credit report. So just make sure you pay the minimum though. Make sure you pay the minimum. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like make sure you pay the minimum. And yes, you're gonna they might say your minimum fifty dollars. They might put twenty five dollars to your principal, and then they take the other twenty five. But at the end of the day, you didn't miss no late payment. Mm. But if you got the bread and you still trying to make late payment, I mean minimum payments, avoid that because you're just giving the banks money. Paid it off zero to nine percent. Okay. Well, how, how to follow you and give one piece of game, man? Leave them with one piece of game. Oh, you can follow me on Rich. Uh, you can follow me on Finesse's Only Club on Instagram, um, TikTok. I don't even know what other platforms I got really. Um, YouTube for sure because I need to blow up. For sure. Um, one no piece cap. of one piece of game, I would say, man, get you some, get you some friends, get you some um, some mentors. Just be around. Like your circle need to strengthen you. You know what I'm saying? Like Tory, bro. Like this nigga called me like a couple weeks ago. Say you just cash out on two bins. Is like that's motivation. You know what I'm right. saying? Like you need friends. You got to hear that. My other partner, Ty, bro, he just bought a one point some million dollar crib. You know what I'm saying? When I hear that type of shit, versus niggas telling me, hey, bro, I just fucked this hoe. Like. What what is that really feeding me, bro? So I don't did, fuck with this nigga, bro. I'm How so, do you make new friends then? Because if if you got niggas that you see mm. that's doing good, right? And you and you hitting niggas and niggas just don't hit you back. Damn, what you trying to say, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> Man, that nigga suck at texting everybody, bro. Yo, so if you trying to make new friends. Like, <laughs> bro, you I, know I fuck with you though. <laughs> nigga, nigga, I used to you know, this, FaceTime this nigga yo, be five days later. Bro, I used, to, I used to hit this nigga like, yo, bro, like I don't want nothing from just trying to pull up link with you, bro. I don't need, I don't need, I don't need no advice, no nothing. You know what I'm saying? But when you see niggas as one, and I feel like that's another thing niggas need to learn. Mm. There's no new friend mentality. You throw that shit in the throw trash. That shit, out the like that shit need to go out the window it's for bad. real. A lot of people got pride just walking up to people. You know what I'm saying? Just mm. introducing yourself. But how do you build a new circle? Not, not for real though. We can joke about it, but for real, if you if you trying to build a new circle, right? And you see niggas that might have that head on straight, but you you a nigga from the hood or you don't know how yeah. to like how do you build that circle? You gotta work on self first mm. because like trying to join a circle and it's like you. You can't look like you looking for a handout. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like KC, bro, he pulled up to the event and was like, yo, I'm what's the name? Like, what's good? I fuck with you, woo woo. 
and he don't even know shit. We've been having conversations where I haven't even known me and nigga Ty like, yo, we need to link with any KC. Mm. Just cause how he presented himself. It's just like shit. He, he already looked like he got something going on. He already got his own motion. It's like, he not coming to the table like, bro, I need something from y'all. Or it's mm. like, nothing like that. So it's like, build yourself up, work on self. And then shit, it's not gonna be hard for you to get in any room or anybody to um, talk to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, Let me, all three of y'all niggas, I think, damn, I'm glad. I know I said we was gonna get out of here, but I, yo, all three of y'all, right? Is that shit still on? Mm -mm. Don't look like it. It's not, so I got y'all. So I wanna ask y'all something. When you're trying to build, right? How important is the look? It, it's it's um, cause all three of y'all niggas lit for real. It's it's a major part of it because I mean, depending on your location, depending on like who you're trying to be around. Yeah. Cause it 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 allows you it 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 makes people more comfortable. If I look like you, you know what I'm saying? Like he got bust down. It's like you come to me. It's like okay, let's just say I, I approach any rapper. If I look like this, like you gonna hear what I got to say just cause it look like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't need nothing from you. I got my own motion. Yo, what's up? So it's like, it depends on the person you're trying to be around, the people that you're trying to surround yourself around. Mm. If you're around business motherfuckers, you don't want to look like this, like a rapper, you know what I'm saying? You want to pull up business casual. Like you got some motion. The look is, is, is everything. Cause you ain't gotta have nothing. Uh -huh. <laughs> you ain't gotta have nothing, but if you look like it, shit, you halfway in the door. Code switching, I think that's important, like you said. Just in your environment, being a chameleon. If you're not being a chameleon, then yeah. It's all about finessing. But you gotta have multiple looks though. It's not just one. Multiple, mm -hmm. multiple looks. I'm glad you said that, multiple. Cause I was the guy that was in a suit, in a sharp suit too. Yeah. But it was getting those type of people that was in a suit as well, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Now, I'm here, I'm dressing comfortably in my own zone. And people, I walk in rooms, they be like, damn, what you rap or something? Nah, but this is what I do, I change lives. Now I get them, uh, how you do that? I can't even see you in a suit, my nigga, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I fuck with it, fellas. Uh, y'all said y'all for um, Instagram and shit like that. J Hill, uh, y'all niggas probably can't see me, but. Shout out to you too, bro. Like, I fuck with the platform, you bro. For real. For and you don't, you don't mind giving the niggas flowers, like, nah, I fuck with you, bro. Yeah, cause I'm lit. Like, I feel like <laughs> niggas, niggas be, niggas be bitches. Like, I'm that nigga, so I can give everybody that vibe because I way. know what's up with me, if that yeah, makes sense. Like, I, can, that I can make my man look good. I can help a nigga. I can give you the game because at the end of the day, my sh I'm confident. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, my shit going to, I'm going to win regardless. So, helping another nigga win don't mean shit to me. Niggas be hating and niggas be bitches. Niggas be bitches. Niggas be bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. J Hill, man, I appreciate y'all. It's a wrap. Yeah. Yeah.